him to misbehave. Hey guys, how are we? How are we? Let me go through and say hello to everybody. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Um, and Allison, hello. How are you? Hi, Frida. Hi, Adelina. Oh, I'll, I'll get to the. I, we I just have two subs. Seven months. Bello nine love. Bello nine. You guys love, are being too nice to me. Love. What the heck? Um, hold on. Let me finish saying hi to everybody. Then I'll acknowledge the resubs. Um, hi Frost. Hi Kenzie. Hi Slu. Did I say hi? Hi. Uh, did I say hi to everybody? I think I did. And uh, electrifying me. Hello. Yes. Happy Friday. Uh, first and foremost, can we get hi fearsome? Can we please, please, please get and hi Wyatt? Can we get a bunch of happy birthdays in chat for Slu? Because today is Slu's birthday. Slu, this is the one day a year that you do not get in trouble for anything that you do in stream uh, because it is your birthday and your birthday deserves to be celebrated. So, you are allowed to celebrate in any way you des you desire. You can thank the mods. Um, I'm pretty sure that Frost wrangled that concession out of me because Frost wanted to, to not get yelled at, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, Slu, thank you for the seven-month resub. And Adelina as well for the seven month resub. I, I can't believe it's been seven months either. Cannot. Nope, 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 nope. Cannot. Absolutely wild that it's been seven months already. So, yeah. It's, it's definitely been a very interesting. And hi, Darla. I know, I, I literally just um, hit the, like... The, the chatting screen because I forgot to feed Apollo lunch. So um, I went live. I went to go grab my drink from the fridge, give him his treat, and he just gave me a look. And I was like, oh. So I had to go feed him first. So uh, it took me a little bit longer to get started. So no, we just got started, Darla. You didn't miss anything. Um, only thing you've missed is us saying happy birthday to a slew. So um, yes, make sure you are gambling your points. And I see y'all already trying to start a hype train. What is this? What is this? No. Cannot with you guys. We just started. And hi, Blue Jay. How are you? How is your day going? So, fun stuff today. We're going to get through a little bit more of the Hunter Baby Challenge. Um, Hopefully, we'll get to Child 60 today. That's the goal. I'm good. I'm good. I've got to fit before I can open my drink. I've got to finish my coke, but look, okay I got it. Look at how cute this is. I know I can't I will give you guys that if it's your birthday and you start the hype train. I will not yell I'll give you that It was supposed to be originally just if you do if you do chaos, but I will say if if it's if it starts a hype train, then yeah, I won't yell over it. Thank you for that, Darla. When it grows up, will it be a real bottle? It is a real bottle. Don't hurt the Coke's feelings. Don't hurt the Coke's feelings. 
Um, but yeah, so I ordered, like, I did a pickup at Target. And I ordered, like, the bigger one, the normal size, like, six-pack of them. Um, and apparently they picked up a Diet Coke. So I was like, this is the one I ordered. I ordered regular Coke, because I don't drink Diet Coke. I just, I don't like the aftertaste of Diet Coke. Never have. Um, so they go back in, and they're like, oh, that was for someone else. And then they come out with two of the small ones. So I got double product for free because of their mistake. So I was like, you know, I can't complain. And these are actually kind of cute. I knocked one off the off the desk the other day. And Apollo has just found it. Get it, pick it up. Pick it up. Get it. No? All right. He was hitting it with his paw. And now he's now he's bored with it. So, bank error in your favor. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, but thank you for this, guys. Uh, did we... I don't know if everybody did their flavor of the day. You've got... How long do we have left on that? We got... Oh, you got a minute and a half. We still got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. So... Slu, what are your plans for your birthday? What have, have what have you done already? And do you have any plans for this evening? Tell us all the things so we can live vicariously through you. Because you'll probably have more fun than most of us will. Which is as it should be because you should really celebrate your birthday. So, all right. Um... She still calls me mom. Oh my gosh. It has, Kenzie, but thank you for those biddies. It has been. It's been, it's been a while since the, since the bot has called me mom. Yes, and I got Bellabot back. Yes. So I had to go in and like debug my OBS because OBS didn't want to connect. So. Um. You should be able to. I don't know. Uh, but your favorite, your boyfriend's back. So you'll have to figure that out. Um, been working. Fair, fair. Most people don't take off for their birthday. I'm weird like that. I do. Um, later you're celebrating with your family. Nice, nice. It won't let you. I'm a potato. I should not laugh as hard at that as I am. I really should not be laughing at that as much as I am. I was just looking to see if you can't do it anymore. And then Frost did. That was great. That was great. All right. If, if anyone ever cheers that, I will not ever yell. That is one that you're allowed to do whenever and I will never yell. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all can do that as much as you want and, and you won't get in trouble for it. So, yeah. Y'all won't get ever get in trouble for that alert. That alert just makes me laugh. Uh, I don't I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. That's great. Twitch be rude. Twitch be rude. But thank you for that, guys. That that was that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I had that, that, I needed that giggle. Yeah, I needed that giggle. So. Oh, you have to type it out. I'm a potato. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't read the text. It's supposed to read the text out for that. Must fix, must fix. I must fix. Hold on. 
Don't go anywhere. Someone hold my coke for me while I do this, please. Yeah, hold, hold, someone hold my coke. I gotta fix this. Because it was supposed to do that, now I'm sad. Where is it? Okay, it should do that now. <gasps> Darla! Coke is fantastic! Coke is fantastic! We love Coke here. We love Coke here. McD oh, McDonald's Coke. Yeah. Yeah, McDonald's Coke, yes. Yes, 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 yes. McDonald's Coke is amazing. Yes. Mm-hmm. You haven't had one in so long. Coke is the only soda you actually drink. Same. Well, no, I'll drink Baja Blast, but mostly Coke. Um, and hi, FSU. How are you? Um, you can't wait till you can taste again? You still can't taste, Kinsey? Fs. Massive Fs for that. That's like my, that's my biggest fear, is like losing my sense of taste. You're happy and sad at the same time? Really? Why is that? You like Jack Daniels with your Coke? Yes. Yes. Um, but pro tip, if you ever order it at a bar, order rum and Coke. Otherwise, you're gonna char, you're gonna be paying like $2 more for the, for it. So, yeah, rum and coke means they give you whatever's on tap, um, but if you tell them jack, they charge you a brand fee. Um, sad news, you have to leave in 15 minutes. Happy news, you're getting your stitches out. Ooh. Well, congrats. Good luck. Hopefully it all goes well. Uh, Dr. Pepper is the best soda. No. I'm sorry. I used to like Dr. Pepper, and then, yeah, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say no pass. It's just, I like, I can't drink Pepsi, period. So Pepsi, period, is too sweet for me. Um, but like Sprite, Coke, I can drink those. Sierra Mist, I can handle that. Um, Mountain Dew, I used to drink it all the time. Now it tastes like pee. So I just stick with my Coke. Dr. Pepper and rum, no. Oh, this is going to date me. Take your minds back to the early days of the internet and the early days of YouTube. Like, early, early days of YouTube. Um, Sunny D and Rum. Does anyone remember that? One of the literally most wholesome videos that was ever posted back in the day. You hate light pop. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, Barks root beer is the best. Yes. I had to think about which one that was. Yeah. That's the, that was the one that came in the glass bottles, right? The glass bottle, the brown glass bottle root beer was the best. That was the best one. And then it either they stopped making it or they stopped like bringing it to my area because I never see it anymore. Uh, good. You're at work trying to battle yourself. That's fair. The silver can one. So what was the brown bottle one? Brown bottle root beer. IBC. No, IBC. Okay, I take it back. IBC root beer was the best. Mm -hmm. IBC root beer was the best. You hate all root beer? So root beer in the U.S. is different than root beer outside of the U.S. apparently. Apparently root beer in the U.S. tastes very, very different. So, I just like the IBC because then you can pretend like you're actually drinking alcohol, but you're not. I did that so much as a kid growing up. So much. 
so much. And hi, Rachie, how are you? Um, root beer. Root beer is, how do you describe root beer? Root beer is, um, made from sass the sassafras, sass sassafras tree. I have never been able to say that word. I'm trying to see if what, like, similar of what it tastes like. Um, it's typically going to be non-alcoholic, uh, so it's a po very popular among kids. Um, it's very sweet, and, um, okay, favorite ingredients are sassafras root, ginger, sarsaparilla, hops, birch bark, wintergreen, vanilla bean, licorice, allspice, coriander, juniper, burdock root, dandelion root, spikenard, I have no idea what that is. Guayacum chips, no idea what that is. Spicewood, wild cherry bark, yellow dock, prickly ash bark, and dog grass have also been used. I didn't need to know that. Nope, did not need to know that. Nope, learned stuff I didn't want to know. I see, that's what I, I don't know. Like, is toothpaste taste different? Like, the toothpaste that I know of tastes minty. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and hi, Fair. How are you? How is your day going? It's got a little tinger factor that makes your tongue tingle. All right. That's fair. That's fair. That, that is fair. Um, ses sesperilla. Yes. I can't say half these words. I've never been able to. Just like the words. Hold on. Specific. If I say it slow, I can say it. Um, but if I say it like in a, just a normal sentence, it comes out Pacific. I used to get made up, made fun of for that in school all the time. I was just like, mm. but yeah, so as we know, I can't say words. Words are hard. But anyway, yes, I did fix the um, overlay. So it is now um, the 69 will now read out TTS. Do not abuse it. So, all right, well, I think we're ready to do the flavor of the day. So, um, sip if you are ready to find out the flavor of the day. Sip if you are ready to find out the flavor of the day. Had to move it. Hopefully you didn't see it. Well, I, you guys, I, it's because it's, I put the color because it's hard for me to type the whole name out. So I do it literally like within three seconds at the start of stream. So yeah, it's just easier for me to write blue or red. So yes, fearsome. It is an acquired taste. So it's sweet kind of licorice, vanilla, D creamy, slightly medicinal. Yeah, I can see the medicinal flavor to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so the flavor of the day is. Oh wait, I gotta see what what all we what all the. Okay, so sixty six percent said blue, thirty four percent said red. All right, all right. So the flavor of the day is. Dun dun dun. Cherry slush, so red. So, there you go. It's cherry slush today. So, congrats to everybody that chose red. You win today. Why am I getting flipped? Why am I getting flipped? Uh, is that what you picked? Yes, Fearsome, you did pick that. And Darla, I'm not really a fan of it, so whenever I get a new variety pack, I tend to drink these early, so then that way I can enjoy the ones that I do like. 
So, I mean, it's not saying it's bad. It's just not a favorite. You got, like, double what you put in? Yes. So, um, the high, the person that gambled the most was Froken, who gambled 1,000 and got back 2,964. So, congrats, guys. Congrats. Uh, you almost got triple what you put in. So, Fearsome, you put in 100. You got back 296. Four short of an additional 200. So, yeah. Well, congrats to those. Um, can some can someone please reflip me? I don't want to be upside down for too long. Please, Kinsey, please. I gave you your boyfriend back. So that should count for something, right? Thank you, Fearsome. <laughs> All right. Do we want to pop over to Bingo? Frost! No! <laughs> the mods are against me. Which, oh, by the way, thank you, Fearsome. By the way, if you haven't seen, new TikTok went up. So, all right. Let's pop over, do our bingo. So, yes, the the one from the the TikTok that just went up today is from um yesterday's stream. So, yeah. Yes, yesterday's stream is is where that clip is from so all right so you have so there's no squirtle pikachu or eevee so you have chaos but you do have a wyatt all right all right uh so for those that have never done bingo with us before it's something we like to do at the start of stream to kind of get our like creativity juices going like kick back have some fun shoot the breeze that sort of thing uh, so if you would like to join us all you have to do is hover over the screen on a computer right over in that direction and it'll say live bingo on a pop-up on the side click that and then click grab your free card everybody gets one free card if you would like additional cards they are 200 biddies a piece um you can get up to six cards with that so there are also sound sounds that you can use that you can um get as well from the um from bingo you did and that's another thing i forgot to do forgot to grab them so i'll have to go back and look and see because i said yesterday i think who was the leaders i need to put a reminder in my calendar i was just so tired yesterday i was just so tired um, but yeah, so Kay Vogel and Kenzie tied for top, and then I don't remember who was third. So if anybody remembers who was third, please let me know. All right, um, I'm, they're doing fine today. They're doing fine today. They, we just had to use so many numbing drops yesterday. Oh my gosh. He, I think he did numbing drops like four times. And, like, it was so, like, when you, they do numbing drops, it's meant to where they can just, like, touch your, the surface of your eye, um, to test the pressure. Um, and they have to do that every time I go in right now because they want to make sure that there's no air pockets behind the, behind the flap. Um, it doesn't hurt. Like, when, that's why they put the numbing drops in. You don't feel it at all. Um, it's just a little weird seeing, like, the light around there. Um, but honestly, after LASIK, like, they could do anything they want to my eyes and I wouldn't panic anymore. So, um, but yeah, so, um, uh, he put numbing drops in and then got called, the tech got called away to go do something else really quick. Um, and then they had to put new drops in. So, like, at that point, my eyes were already starting to, like, when it numbs your eyes, it numbs your eyelids too. Um, so it's not just like a numbing drop for your eyes. It's a numbing for your eyelids. So I was already struggling to keep my eyelids open. Then I had to go into the, see the actual doctor. Um, and then he put two sets of numbing drops in as well. 
um, not realizing that I had already had two sets. And, yeah. It was, it was not fun. Like, it was to the point to where he's trying to, he's trying to, like, scan the surface of my eye. And they literally had to hold my eyelids open with their fingers. Because I could not. Anytime light shone on my eyes, my eyes just, like, went to sleep. I was wide awake, but, like, I physically could not open my eyes. It's the weirdest feeling in the world. The weirdest feeling in the world when you cannot open your eyelids. I mean, it was, it's not permanent. It wore off. Um, but by the time I got home, it had mostly worn off. So it wasn't until, like, probably about halfway through stream that it stopped being a struggle to keep my eyelids up. So, at that point, I was like, you know what, let's just go on. It's hard enough to keep the eyes open after those drops and light makes it even more difficult. Yes, because they do, for those that have never done that, that test on your eyes, it's two different lights. So they do a blue light and then they do a pure light. So it just, it shows them different things on your eye based upon what they're looking for. Um, so, yeah. Oh, uh, you couldn't deal with someone touching your eye? You'd lose your mind numbing drops or not? Um, yeah, the puff test they don't do anymore. At most places um, because they realize that um, there's another test that they do now um, but I haven't I've only had the puff test done three times total even when they were doing measurements and such yeah they don't do that anymore they went back to the light it's like a so the way the light thing that they do that that's different now from the um, puff test because the puff test is a chance that it'll blow dirt into your eye which will cause irritation um, it's slim but it's the chance is there um, but what they do is they it's a little circle and it basically it's like the size of the entire like iris of your eye uh, so like the black area and then that's what they use so yeah dilation drops are the worst absolute worst um, when they did my LASIK stuff the um, reason why I couldn't stream and why I was struggling so much in the days after that first test, um, the di big dilation test, was because my eyelids were completely, completely black. Like, it almost blew the, the whole pupil out. They're not fun, guys. If you don't have to do dilation, pay the fee. It's like $40. That insurance won't cover. Pay it. Trust me. Pay it. It's worth it. Because then, like, you it's you see weird for, like, the entire day. It's just, it's not worth it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's it's easier to just pay the extra money and go and just get the non-dilation test done. They actually find more information if they don't dilate your eyes. So, yeah. Makes it easier. Um, but yeah, definitely LASIK was the best thing ever. Best thing, best decision I'd made for myself. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Uh, did we all get our bingo cards now that I've gone off on a side tangent? Y'all need to stop letting me do this. Y'all need to stop letting me go off on side tangents like this. But all right. Are we ready for bingo? Oh, slash if you're ready for bingo. I have a different snack today. I have Chex Mix. No big screen. No big screen, no TV, Kenzie, you take that off. My tangents can really get us going on some wild conversations, though. This is why people want me to go get tested for ADD. And I'm like, you know what? Fair, fair. I should have been tested as a child, but I never was. So, yeah. All right. So, it is time for some bingo. The uh, first one is... Ooh! Adelina, you are the chosen one. I mean, it is just random talking. Honestly, though, with me, the amount of randomness that comes out of my mouth is hilarious. If you guys knew me when I was growing up, you would be 
zero surprise at some of the stuff that I've said. <laughs> when it comes to random, at one point, that was all I could do. I could not have a normal conversation with you. So, all right. The first one is... Arbok. Zubat. Onyx. Yeah, if it's a bigger screen, it is easier for you to see stuff, yes. Ditto. Venusaur. Magnemite. Diglett. Metapod. Wartortle. Magmar. Lapras. Lickitung. Poliwag. Pidgey. All right, we've got the potato already. Blastoise. We have the creepy licky dude. Porygon. We now have Crystal Eye. Come on, give me one of my three. Jolteon. Close. Meowth. Oh, we are so close to three of them, but Arcanine. Come on. Bullpix. Charmeleon. Mr. Mime. Abra. Pinsir. Nido King. Jigglypuff, the attitude one. Right on. Geodude. Starmie. Flareon. Voltorb. Ratatata. Bingo. We got a bingo. All right. If you were one away, put rude in chat. Mmm. Adelina. Oh. Can we get F's for Adelina, who was one away, three different options? She needed Psyduck, Chansey, or Gengar. Massive Fs. And hi, Jazzy. How are you? I hope your day is going well. Massive, massive Fs for that one. You needed Mushroom Hat Blueberry. Oh! You needed Vile Plume. Adelina, I'm hurting for you. I am hurting for you. But, all right. It looks like, guys, Blue Jay is our only bingo winner today. So, Blue Jay, congrats. Congrats. You are the first one of April. All right, and there you go. There is your popcorn. Okie doke. Well, thank you for that, guys. It's always fun to do some bingo. Always fun. Uh, so I give it a little bit. Um, so that way all the bingo can come through. But eventually we do have to call it. Um, so yeah. Are you at a work call? Oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright. Are we ready to hop into some CMs? Are we ready to hop into some CMs? Oh, slash if you are ready for Sims. Oh, 
Oh, slash if we're ready. All right, we are ready. Okie doke. So, just to give you a quick rundown of where we left off. Mom is pregnant. She just entered her third trimester. Uh, we have Cujo who keeps passing out on the floor. Um, Cujo failed and did not age up to where we can kick him out. This is the second time that Cujo has failed. But it's whatever. Uh, we have Layla. Who did she? She No, she failed as well to age up to a B student. Um, and then we also have little Prim down here. Who is just recently aged up to a toddler. We already have thinking good for that. And then we also um, have imagination. So we need to work on movement, communication, and potty. So you actually need food first. So please tell me there's food. There is. Okay. I was not sure. Um, and then we also have Enoch right here. So we are 59 children in. Fingers crossed we get to 60 today. That is the goal. All right. No food out there. Mom needs sleep, I think. Yeah, let's, let's, give, let's put her to bed. First, we super efficient baby care and then go to bed. All right. We're putting them to bed at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You know what? That's fine. All right. You're going to bed. You are in bed. But have to pee. Yay! Movement level 2! All right. Replace that. Oh, these are all the gnomes. That's right. So we need to sell them all. Yeah, we need to sell them all because absolutely not. Those are the demon gnomes from TikTok that I posted today. So. I'm sorry. I tried. What do you need? Kinsey, what do you need from me? Who does she belong to? Prim belongs to... Peta. Who died by hunger. Hi, Sin Twin. Yes, there is. That's what Kenzie is yelling at me over. Um, there is it for you. I don't like them either, Margaret. I don't. I I don't. Yes, Peta died by hunger. Is that canon in the books? Or is that spoilers? No, I should not be on the TV. Y'all with your TVs. What the heck? What the heck? And not a problem, Mr. You Pride Girl. Not a problem. Good luck with work. Um guys on your TV so weird technically on your console I will take it wait that's right she accidentally joined a club how do you leave the club yeah there we go we're out of the club I don't want to be in a club thank you though off to the dentist and not a problem fearsome not a problem hopefully we will be here good luck Yes, Enoch is the baby. Yes. I don't remember what Enoch was from. Does anyone remember? Um, someone said the book. Someone said it last time, and I don't remember. Okay, great, Kinsey, great. I had no idea. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Did I put every all the certificates up? I think I did. I did, Kinsey! I did, I did, I did, I did, I did! 
I put them all up. Yay! What was flavor of the day? Cherry slush. Uh, but for those that want to see our, our wall of birth certificates, here they are. This is all of our birth certificates. I think we have room to get to 75. We're at 59, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that'll be 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. Yes, so all of them will fit on this wall. Um, so here, I'll go through all the kids' traits and then you tell me what we what you don't have. So Cujo is competitive and a health nut. And then Layla is neat. And Prim is a charmer. And we never got Layla's. I need to go back in the VODs to find Layla's uh, trait. So, um, really quick. I'm just going to go through this. We're going to update the spreadsheet real quick. Because, like, apparently I fail at keeping the spreadsheet updated. And Kinsey is cursing me. So, um, what kids are you missing? What kids, what kids are we missing? We are missing Eeyore and Tigger. Oh, Eeyore, Tiffany, and Tigger. All right. I got to find Cat. Because it's Cat's family. Um, where is it? They're in Evergreen Harbor. All right. We'll go to Evergreen Harbor. Um, interesting. No one's living there. Oh, no, it's not you. It's not you guys. Maybe it's you. No, not you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Bonnie married Peter Parker. I'm not happy about it. Okay, maybe M Willow Creek. All right, so we got to check. Um. Why is it taking so long for these houses to load? I don't like this. Nope. San Myshuno, Forgotten Hollow. No, that's an old one. Um, I will find them for you. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna cycle through the world. It's quicker this way. Hawthorne, Father Winter, Terry Krupa, Hannah, and Delilah. No, those are grandkids. The grandkids are taking over. I don't like it. Tracy, Alyssa, Susanna. Nope, not any of ours. McKnight, so that's a no. It's also good to know where these kids are living. Oh, apparently we someone in our family took over this one. Uh, Marielle, oh, Bo. Bo took over the land grab mansion. All right, you go, kid. Kyra, four, Colby, Caden, Brent, Brandy, Chubbs, Tunes. Oh, so this is where four moved to. Okay. There's a lot of open houses. There are a lot of open houses in this. All right. Is this any of our current ones? Bridget and Carlo? No. Wow. 
Well, now I'm confused. Where'd they move to? Oh yeah, apparently Jasper Hale got busy. All right, Forgotten Hollow. Apparently some of our kids live here? Okay, so Gru's household moved here. Why am I not surprised that Gru lives in Forgotten Hollow? Zero surprise there. It's not our household that we're looking for, though. This isn't any of ours. Lacey, Jude, uh, Beatrix. I mean, all right. Oh, yeah. Polly Bleeker apparently got married. All right. Is this them? Ah, uh, this might be them. Yes, so Tigger. Okay, I found them. I found them. Oh, there's one similar in The Sims. Yeah, I think each of the each of the worlds in Sims 4 is kind of similar to a world in The Sims 3 or Sims 2. So, Tigger is a slob, a green fiend, and self-assured. And then, who else are we missing? Tiffany is competitive, high maintenance, and a geek. And then Eeyore is a loner, squeamish, and socially anxious. All right, did we get them all? Uh, I was a uh, loner, squeamish, and socially anxious, which socially anxious is a CC trait. Um, we may need to make a command for my CC traits. I know it's in the Discord. Okay, are we caught up with the exception of toddler traits? Because that'll have to get off stream. Are we caught up now, Kinsey? Yay! All right, there we go. But yeah, you guys can see, like, every house in this, every lot in this save is full of something. No one is living in Strangerville, it seems like. Honestly, I don't blame them. I don't know if I would either. Do not know if I would either. All right, now that we got that figured out. So it's Friday. I would say since she's pregnant. There needs to be a mod that lets you take toddlers with you when you go somewhere. Isn't, is there one? I think there might be one. So, Sims 4 takes toddlers with you. Isn't there a mod? Yeah, there should be a mod that you can bring toddlers. Right? I could have sworn there was one. Uh, so not in The Sims 4, I don't think. Not in The Sims 4. I wish there was. Oh, there, someone might have created a mod for it, but like as far as like it being in the base of the game, no. Um. So yeah. Not really much. 
Did you break? You broke that, didn't you? You know what? Come out here and go observe the sky. What are you doing, Prim? Prim is very cold. So, Prim. Change outfit to your cold weather outfit. And then you desperately need a bath. All right, you're gonna come down. You're gonna talk to the to big puds until um, mom wakes up. And uh, you leave the hamster. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, and get comfy. It was it in Sims two and three. I was pretty sure Sims three there was something similar, uh, but honestly, it's been so long since I played Sims three. I don't even have it installed on my computer. No, Gilbert, we don't want to go on a date. And OC Grace, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Oh. All right, y'all need to stop breaking stuff, please. Thank you. I'm kind of over the breakage of everything. Wait, did we finish doing all the beds? We did not. Nope, we did not. All right, so that one's done. What about this? That is done. What about this one? That one's done. That one's done. And that one's done. All right, so we just have those left. Okay, that's not bad. Um, Have I used any cheats for the challenge? No, we don't use cheats for this one. Um, The only real ch cheat, I guess, would be move objects. Um, But apart from that, no. Everything has been done without cheats or mods. I mean, yes, I have MC Command Center and um, UI Cheats, but I use it for, like, basic stuff. Um, which is, like, pause on lot, that sort of thing. So, do that. Super efficient baby care. Did he really just cut me off while I was trying to... You know what? I, I, don't, I don't even... Know. Yeah, okay. <sighs> But yeah, t base, other than that, no, we, we have done all of this without cheats or mods. And the reason why I'm doing it this version without cheats or mods is because I wanted to um, do it as the challenge was intended. Um, so then that way I could test to see if there's anything that console players would not be able to do. How do you get your sims to take care of their sims? Um... I yell at them a lot. I yell at them and I tell them, do this, don't do this. And then when they do it anyway, I, I spend about 10 minutes yelling at them. Yeah. My stress level goes up when I play The Sims. Let's be real. Let's be real. Uh, try Snooty Sims. They have child toddler can be carried and children can change toddler diaper. All right. Yeah. Um. Typically, I kind of don't really do anything when the toddler is stinky. I just don't. No! Stop trying to talk to her! She's busy! Like, right now, I'm yelling at the toddler. Tot, I know you want a bath. But, can you potty yourself? You can't even potty yourself. Go slide. Mom's got bigger, more important things to do, like take care of the infant. Otherwise, the infant is just gonna scream. Go on. Thank you. Now you can get a bath. Now you can get a bath. I just had to take care of the to of the infant first. All right, you know what? I'm going to have you sleep here instead of there cuz like you you need to get your sleep up faster. Thank you. Oh, where are the toddler beds from? So, the these two beds right here are from um, Eco Lifestyle. This is from Dream Home Decorator. A pro tip for, for if you have any toddlers, um, get this if you have the pack. It's just the play tent. Um, they, when you, they sleep, their needs will go up twice as fast. So, yeah, they, it will, the sleep will go up twice as fast. Uh, imagination will go up twice as fast. And kids can also use it as well. And hi, Katie. How are you? Are you bathing the child? You are. Okay, thank you. Also, another little tip is get this um, display case because um, it keeps the food not as... 
fresh not as long as in the fridge, but toddlers can get in and out of this as they please. And you don't have to actually do anything. It's very handy. All right, mop, and then I'm going to have you, like, take care of your needs. Okay, thanks. All right, see, you're getting your attention up. You're not totally neglected. I mean, at least you're not completely, absolutely neglected. You're only partially neglected. Yeah. What do you need? You need potty, so, um, potty help. Yeah, come get potty help from mom. That'll get your your needs and such up. Did she get her thing to level four? She did not. Get get back out there. Go back outside and stargaze. I don't want to see you back in the house to your level four. I also apparently abuse my children. But it is what it is. They're fine. They haven't died yet. Oh my god, Kenzie! You did not quote that! <laughs> Alright, so apparently Kenzie did. Traitor. Uh, what pack is the display case from? This is from Get to Work. So if you have get to work, oh, two things about the get to work pack that'll help you with the 100 baby. Um, number one is the display case. Number two, when it is time to give birth, send the mom to the hospital. Because when she gives birth at the hospital, it will autofill all of her needs back to 100%. So yeah, definitely. do Both of those things are really great and really helpful for you. Uh, yes, but in a fun simi way. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yes, so that's the only way to go to the hospital is with the get to work pack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise, it's like you just give birth, ran, like they just give birth where they are. And it's really weird. But then also, oh, another little tip is when you know you're about to give birth, put down a crib that you want, that you want the kid to use. Um, and put it down in a specific place where it's convenient for you in your house. Otherwise, when you get home from the hospital, you have to play the, the mini game. Where did EA hide the baby? Because EA will put the baby literally anywhere. I had them put the baby in the middle of a bed once. That was just like, nah. <laughs> so, yeah. Make sure if you if you go to the hospital, you have a area pre-set up for the baby. Because otherwise, the baby will just randomly appear somewhere in the house. Actually, it had another baby appear in a tower that you couldn't actually access. And I couldn't find the baby, and the baby got taken away. This was not an on-stream thing. This was an off-stream gameplay that I did. So... Yes, and also, too, lock the door for everybody but mom. If you're worried about how are the toddlers going to get out, that is what the dog doors are for. Toddlers can go in and out of the dog door. But make sure it's the taller one, not the smaller one. Uh, potty help from mom. You need one more potty. Ah, bah, bah, bah. I guess. That was my imitation of a toddler. That's actually like not throwing a fit. So yeah. Otherwise, the other sins will drive you up the ball. Yes, that yes they will. Um, they don't need to meet them. The kids don't need to meet them. The toddlers can meet them if they want. Otherwise, it they don't need to. Don't don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Oh, again, my whims turned off. Another tip if you are trying to get um, certain things. Show whims, yes. You want these little bubbles because they're whims and they give you satisfaction points. And the satisfaction points mean that you can buy sleep replacements. Or traits if you if you want to play it like that. Um, but it gives you sleep points for sleep replacements. And sleep replacements are amazing. 
If I was ever playing a challenge and they told me I could not use sleep replacements, I would not play it. Because I need my sleep replacements. All right. Why is your... Oh, oh, oh. Oh. All right. I did not realize the toddler was in that bad of shape. My bad. My bad. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. No. No, no, no. No. We are not that close. Mm. All right. Well. I didn't think we were this close, but okay, I guess we are. So, Enoch has now aged up. Let me make sure that... Yeah. Alright, Enoch's trait is going to be... Please, please, please. Meh. Angelic. All right, if we like it, I will uh, lock it in in five, four, three, two, one. All right, this one's for Wyatt. Clingy. This one is for Kenzie. Wild. All right, if we like that, I would lock it in in five, four, Three, two, one, zero. All right, lock it in. Wild it is. Not happy about it, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Oh wait, mom does need to eat, so we'll have her slide. We'll have this one slide. Um, and yeah, so Enoch was the one that won the poll. When it comes time to naming a baby, we do a poll. Um, and that's the name that won. So, yeah. And what's my favorite pack? Ooh. It depends. So, what are packs that I use stuff from building-wise? Um. I use a lot of Tiny Living. I use a lot of Parenthood building-wise. Um. Cats and Dogs I use a lot of. I love this right here. So I'd say from laundry day. Um, gameplay wise. Since I do so much with kids. Parenthood is a favorite. Um, I really enjoy the seasons gameplay. Uh, let's see. I don't know if my favorite pack would be cast wise. I'm not sure. I'd have to actually sit and think about that. Yes, I know you're tired. Go to sleep. Ignore your mother. Go to sleep. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. No, put put the child put the child down. Put the child down. Yeah, because you put the you didn't put the child down. Now the child's passed out on the floor. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hi, Sam. You're in trouble, ma'am. What was this offline wild in that you did? Ma'am. I cannot with you. The only one that's allowed to wild today is Slu. So I don't know why you thought you were wildin'. And Suzy Q, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lounge chair, and get comfy. You do not have to immediately punch it. What is this? No. No, no, no. You do not immediately need to do this. Nope. All right, movement level two. Nice. You know what? I'm going to try to do this before she goes into labor. 
I'm gonna try to do this. Yeah. Why am I not surprised he did a dramatic face like that? Mm-hmm. Although you did miss, I did say the uh, potato alert you guys are allowed to use whenever you like. So, um, I am going to butcher this. And I am so sorry. Um, I'm just going to go with, uh, Luce, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Uh, if there's another name you'd like to go by, please let us know. Uh, but no, Sam, the, the purple is a pretty color. It is a pretty color. All right, come on now, kiddo. Get your movement up to level three. I know you're so sad. I don't care. You want to pop in and say hello? Well, hello. We love you. Good luck. Yes, it's a high and buy. Yes. All right, come on, you can do it. You can do it. You are 52% done. Come on, toddler. Dang it, she went into labor. A little chicky nuggy, little chicken nuggy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. We probably will, Sam, since you're heading out so early. But yeah, good luck. And uh, little chicken nuggy, you have a wonderful, wonderful username. I love it. If you have to go pee that bad, go pee. I can't with this mother. I cannot. All right. Are you at two hours yet? Please say you're almost there. No, you're not. How much food is here? Two. All right, then. You're actually going to come make a salad. Since you're taking so long to go into actual labor labor. Poor mom. Sucks to be her at the moment. She's playing dolls while in labor. Yes, she's constantly playing dolls. I don't know why. No matter what house they're in. Constantly playing dolls. And hi Munchkin. How are you? How is your day going? Alright. Come on. You can do it. You're now. Okay. Now you go at two hours. So chop chop. Chop chop Ariana. You gotta make this salad quick. You got to make the salad quick. Story of her life. She's making salads while she's in labor. <laughs> that was, that was a funny, funny face freeze. All right. No, no talkie. Finish the salad and, and do not put earwax in. There shall be no earwax salads today. All right, come on, come on. We gotta go. We gotta go do this. Uh, did they put out another patch for it? Newt. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, Newt's now dating our our granddaughter. How awkward is that? Not as awkward as one of our kids deciding to marry one of our dads. All right. No, you don't get to eat. I'm sorry. You do not get to eat. I am sorry. All right, put that there. You, no, come back here. Put it down and go to the hospital. Thank you. No, she's going to bring it with her. Dang it. Um, just playing some Celeste. Nice, nice. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Uh, but yeah, did this, the Sims just released a patch yesterday. So I don't know if they would release a patch back to back. That's very unlike them to do that. 
Yeah, it's very unlike them to release a pack back to back two days in a row. So, because the patch notes yesterday said that they were still asking for more details on it. So, I don't know. Um, earwax salad, no. No, no, no. Did what happen? Did the, um, wait, so they did do a double patch? That's really weird. They usually never do that. Hmm. All right. Um, children, grandchildren growing up to marry one of our baby daddies. Oh, it happens all the time. That's why we, that's why we, um, send them to Vlad to become test subjects. Because otherwise, they, then our, then the mods end up being ones that marry them. Oh, I forgot to do our prediction. Pause. Prediction. My bad. Sorry, guys. All right. Predict. Boy or girl. Go. My bad. Sorry about that, guys. Your prediction is up. Go ahead. All right. Predict away. Gamble your points. All those things. You think it's going to be a girl? All right. All right. So as of right now, it's almost split even. Let me look at this. What did we last? What was the last pattern we had? So we had. Oh, it is still 50 50. So it went, this set has gone female, male, female, male, female, male, male, female, female. And then male again. So it could go either way. And even before that, yes, yeah, starting with kid number 47, it went, oh no, 46. It went male, female, male, female, back and forth. Okay. Do we have room for triplets? We do, but if we have triplets, that'll be very bad. So we don't want triplets right now. Yeah, that'd be very bad. Um, we, yeah, Cujo needed to get out of the house in order for us to safely have triplets. Uh, triplets are supposed to be very rare unless you have the on the ley line and fertile traits. So, yeah. All right, you have about a couple seconds left to get your your guesses in. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Let's see. Oh wait, you guys wanted to see what the what the doctor sees. This is what the doctor sees. It's a computer game. He's basically looking at a computer game. But it is a boy! Alright, guys. So, for those of you that said boy, only four of you said boy. Alright, alright. I personally was thinking it was going to be a girl. So, and hi, Sinead. How are you? How's your day going? All right, so there is the next one for you to predict. Is it going to be a single birth or twins? Oh, I never updated. What did I say? Let me see. I got to look back at the Hunter Baby Thinks. I got to update it. So, all right, I am going to open up the baby names. So, there will be, uh, you'll need to tell me the... Uh, character and then where the character is from however it cannot be a character from disney harry potter divergent twilight 50 shades of gray winnie the pooh or no just or winnie the pooh yeah so go ahead and give me those also if it's fairy tale folktale that's the next set Space Invaders, yes, yes, agreed, agreed, agreed. 
All right, so this is for a boy. All right, let me get the poll going for this. Oh, Duck Duck! That's good. So we have Paddington. Passport 2 from around the world in 80 days. Or the Mad... So we'll just go Mad Hatter. From Alice in Wonderland. All right. So let me get your chaos causing activation. All right. There you go. Do we want to go with Paddington, Passepartout, or Mad Hatter? It won't let you predict. Oh, okay. So the prediction for twins for when we do the second one, it is rather short. Um, so yeah, it should, uh, normally they're about two minutes. Um, the twins or single one is, uh, one minute, but don't worry. We will have another prediction very, very soon. All right, guys, the poll is up. If you do not see it, you may need to uh, refresh the chat, but let me know. Do you want the baby to be named Paddington past part two or the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland? And Paddington, if you don't know, is Paddington the bear from Paddington. All right. Get your votes in. You got about a minute left to get your votes in. I wish it would tell me, like, exactly how many seconds are left in the polls. It does for your predictions, but not for polls. So if you're waiting for a poll thing, you can't say, hey, you guys have this amount of time left to get your stuff in. Do not tie it. Yes, I have the almighty coin, but I've already used my juju for a perfect coin toss this week. You're not going to get a good one from me again. I'll tell you that right now. It's just not going to happen. I'm, I'm not that good at coin tosses. All right. So you got, I'm going to estimate you got about like 20 ish seconds left to get your boats in. So, Paddington, Passepartout, Mad Hatter. All right. And it is going to be... Dun, dun, dun! Mad Hatter! All right. So, Mad Hatter has won. All right. All right. We're going to find out. Is it single... Or twins or more in three, two, one. Yes! Success, success! Yes! <laughs> Bella one, chat zero. I win. I win this one. I win this one. I win. I win. All right, let me give you your points back. Single birth. Whee! Yes, it's the Thomas you made. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. Um, Thomas survived. Can I ask you to... Hold on, hold on. Ask you to pursue your dream job before it resets us. No! I don't want another ghost doctor. I will riot. I will riot. Mm -mm. So, Devil 7, I would actually like to have twins. Just to move it along a little bit. I just don't want triplets. And Duck Duck, I have no idea where that setting is. You guys know how many times. I know where the settings are for, like, making them leave. 
and moving them out, but each time I have to like look around for it because I never remember how to get there. All right, and yes, if anyone wants to play in any of the houses that we've built or like the some of the lots like the bowling alley um, These houses all of these three houses I built um, Yeah, if you want to play in those those are all in the gallery Are we off by two? I thought we were off by just one. Oh We are off by a lot. All right, so apparently we were on baby 60 My bad. My bad. Okay, before I do anything else. Anything else. To make Kenzie happy. There you go. It's up. Alright, super efficient baby care while we vote on the dad. Because we now we have to vote on the dad. All right, go do that. Go vote on the dad. All right, feed. Thank you. Okay, dad time. Connect. And also, too, guys, if you would like to add in new dads, there are the rules for it. Um, also, too, there are a list of character of book series that are no longer able to be used that is in the discord but we shall go to the hashtag of bella 100 baby all right so let's look at this so the next dad the next dad will we'll see. Um Here, we'll we'll do this right here. We'll do Phileas Fog. So Phileas Fog will do his um the double here. Passport 2 from 80 days as well. If I could spell, that would be fantastic. Um, let's see. We'll do Christopher Chance from the Crestomancy book series. If I could, again, if I could spell, that would be wonderful. For those who don't know, I can't spell. It's just not going to happen. Um, We'll go with... Lena from Slayers. And... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll add Oddlaw back. Is it odd? Uh, how do you spell his name? All right, there you go. All right, so go ahead and vote in the poll. So we have uh, Wally or Waldo's alter ego. We have um, Christopher Chance from the Crystal Mancy series. Um, we have Lena from Slayers. Or we have Phileas Fogg and Passepartout. Two. So, go ahead and vote in the poll. Spelling is overrated. Yes, it 100% is overrated. 100% is. So, go ahead and vote for the next dad. And I shall sit here and sip my drink. I shall sip at you. Maybe. There we go. I got it open. It's good. We're all good. Yep. I sip at thee. What's up, Adelina? I'm just going to sit here and sip because y'all got to vote for the next dad that may or may not die. Do 
What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? Sophisticated. I was thinking uh, professional. That was where my brain had just gotten to was professional. I don't know which one's worse. I don't know which one is worse. I really don't. That was terrible. F's for me. All right, Selena has won. All right. Professional. I thought it was a good attempt. I thought we, we were trying something. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let, let, let's go with it. Let's go with it. All right. Okie doke. So let's save and go and add her in. All right. This is a good, like, head bopping one. Also, um, to anyone that liked the today's TikTok, thank you. I've posted one, two, three, four, five, six videos, and we're already over 500 likes. So, that's wild. That is wild. All right, how do I, where do I go? There we go here. Um, here we go. I need to, wait, is it just? Yeah, that's what I thought. I got confused. I was like, we I knew we had to move one of them out. Need to move you out. Sadly, I got to give you. <sighs> Taking away my nest egg. Yeah, Th Thomas, yeah. All right, let's move her in. Sure. All right, I learned a new trick. You can visit without having to go back to your home lot. All right, so that way you don't have to reload and then save and then reload again, and it's just a mess. Oh, she's a spellcaster? I didn't even notice. I probably should look at these things. We've only had, in 61 kids, guys, we've only had one spellcaster. And I'm kind of upset by that. And the spellcaster we had was Gru. Of all of them, Gru. Not one I think would be a spellcaster. Still kind of sad that neither Ronald nor Voldy were spellcasters. Because that would have been epic. That would have been really, really, really epic. Yeah. Alright, come on in. Go upstairs. She isn't... He's just okay with him being there. Alright. Alright. Go away. Bye, Cole. So, um, you guys, we need to start thinking about when they start dating. So, yeah, we, we need to start thinking about when they get together. Enchanting introduction. In... In in your your hospital gown. Don't sit down for this. Okay, three click, three click, three click. Dang it! Was hoping for a three click. All right, blow a kiss. It's because she's too inspired. Compliment appearance. Let's see, what else can we do? Pick up line. Flirt. There we go, first kiss. No flirt, first kiss first. 
Are we are we first kissing? We are. All right. All right. She just gave birth. No, I'm not going to just let her be. We got to get pregnant. All right, kiss her again. All right, come on. Whisper seductively. Come on. Come on. Seduce. We got to seduce. I need a baby. No computer for you. Baby first. Baby, then possible flatting, and then computer. She can say she wants. No, she can't. We're on a deadline here. We are on a deadline. She can sit later. She can sit later. She can eat later. She can be on the computer later. Later. First, I need a baby. Trinity, sure. We said sure. Try for the baby. Yeah. I'm busy. All right, preggy test, preggy test, preggy test, preggy test. Come on, preggy test, preggy test, preggy test. Come on. Come on. Come on. Preggy test. Yes. All right. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Come on, let's see. Come on. Come on, fingers, toes, everything crossed. Yes! We are pregnant. There we go. And hi, Rachel, how are you? How's your day going? Whew. All right. What is her reaction? All right. Well, guys, it is that time. Oh, and 007 has redeemed Save the Dad. All right. All right, guys. And I believe, the, yes, this is the first one of the um of the set so we still have to flip to see what would have happened mm-hmm we still have to flip to see what would have happened so we have to pause the fun music for this all right let us find out what would have happened and if it was a good save or not. It was a good save. It was a good save because this this donor would have gone to Vlad. All right. So applause for that. That was very well timed. Very, very, very well timed. Oh, you're good playing some Sims for having to go to work. Nice, nice. That's always fun. But very well done, 007. Very well done. So this Lena will be allowed to live, even though the coin flip would have sent her to Vlad. So, all right. Well, stop talking to her, please. And go home. Because you're hungry. Alright, but we are pregnant. That's all that matters. We are pregnant, ready to go. Oh, you went to go pee? What'd you miss? Oh, uh, we got pregnant. That's what basically what you missed. So Yeah. Alright, go home. Let's let's have you work on the on the kiddos. So, but yeah, that was the first, that was the first save of the set. 
And remember, guys, you can only save up to five dads per set. So plan your saves wildly. Not wild, wisely. Wow, words hard. I don't know. I am to misbehave. A Reddit world. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Coming back for four months. What the heck? Thank you for that. Why are we talking about applesauce? I don't know, but it's making me hungry. Uh, how many dads have we had in this set? We have had only singles in this set. So, one, two. 12 dads. We've had 12 dads and only one has been saved. Does our sim have some sort of contract with Vlad? Yes. Yes. Yes, we do. Oh, come here. Eat the, eat the salad. Eat the salad. Thank you. All right. We got to check in on the kiddos. She's on the computer, but she's hungry. So... Because she can, I'm going to have her get leftovers from the from here. You are more tired than anything, but that's fine. Uh, Prim. What does Prim need? Prim needs food. Communication, movement, and potty. All right. Let's eat first. Whew, I almost didn't make that one. Whoa, sorry about that, guys. Um, so yes and no. Um, you have they can't just as is, you have to change some settings on the back end. Um, so you have to make sure that the one of them can get others pregnant. Um, and then also an MC command if you're using MC command center, you have to do a couple overrides to allow it. Um, but as far as vanilla goes, it's a lot trickier. Most of the time, they just, uh, it's easier just to have them adopt. Thank you, Kenzie. So we had to go through a lot of trial and error to make it work. But we did make it work, so that's all that matters. You don't need food or anything. Come here. Keep sliding. I need you to finish your movement skill, please. Thank you. Are you about to wrap up? Uh, not so very yellow gin. Nice. Nice. Uh, the gray gin was the most boring for me. And purple gin was the most tedious, I felt. Yeah. Wait, did you do your homework? You didn't do your homework. Do your homework. Once you're done, do your homework. And then we gotta sell all these creepo things. Because I don't want them in your inventory. That's just creeping me out. Thank you. All right. Um, mom needs to open these. We can sell this stuff. Oh, we also have mail to get. And we need to check on bills. Yeah, we probably should do that real quick. All right, bills. Get the mail. No bills. All right. Uh, green gin seems eh to you. Hit or miss. Yeah, it's just because green, uh, the gray gin, sorry. Gray gin, it just, we got everything done so early that, um, the kids were still babies. Like, the youngest was still a baby. And we were done with that gin. So, it just wasn't as much fun. Um, whereas the, um, plum gin... I had to go in and create a whole extra storyline and I got Sam mad at me for it. So, um, that was just to make sure it stayed fun. <laughs> All right. I'm going to guess we're going to get, I'm going to guess 5,000. All right. Did I get everything? I did. Oh, 7.2 K. Nice, nice. Uh, and Oopsie Daisy, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Uh, the default MCC settings override the vanilla settings, but once set in MCC, it works fine. You can also set MCC so there's a chance of having alien babies. Otherwise, it's a zero percentage. Wait, really? That might be why we were gypped. 
Hold on, how do I check? Where do I find this? Under is it under occult or pregnancy? Offspring. Oh, no, I don't want that. Maybe it's under a cult. Other pregnancy custom percentages. Oh, is this it right here? Is this it? This might be it. Um, alien and hybrid. I don't understand this. Yeah, uh, DuckDuck, if you could send me a, like, a breakdown of how to set that up, uh, so that way we actually have a chance of getting alien babies. Uh, yeah, if you could just post that in the Discord, because that looks super confusing right now. That looks super confusing. But yeah, welcome on in, Oopsie Daisy. How are you? How is your day going? No, you're not going there. You're going to go sleep in the tent. Go sleep in the tent! Both of, yeah, both of you sleep in the tent. All right, you're in a better mood. You are cleaning that up, sure. Is anything broken or does anything need repairs? That needs to be gone through. Come on, go through the pile. Thank you. I was looking for some lunch relaxation. Well, welcome on in. I hope we're relaxing for you. We're a bit chaotic. Bit chaotic. Oh, I was going to say, where did my stuff go? Uh, but that's more because the Sims do things and I freak out and I start yelling at them. Because then they just laugh at me. It's really sad. Really sad. All right, so Kujo finished his homework. Great. Uh, you know what? I'm going to have her come start meditating. She needs to start meditating. We need to get that... Um, what was it? Superfood salad or something? We're only at wellness three. So we got a ways to go for that one. So yeah. And hi, Christy. How are you? How is your day going? I hope it's going fantastic. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do. I don't think so. We're just waiting on the kids to age up. What is gross? What are you saying is gross? You said something here is gross. What is gross? I don't see anything that's nasty. Yeah, there's nothing here that's nasty. Why are you saying it's gross? I'm very confused. I don't see anything on shelves. Nothing on that. Is it because she's filthy? I don't know. Go take a shower. Maybe that'll fix it. I'm very confused. And Emily Cobb, welcome in. Welcome in, guys. How are you? How was stream? What did you get up to today? What did we get up to? Let me pop over here. I did pause. Okay, good. Let me pop over here. But welcome on in, guys. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Bella. I am a variety streamer with a base in The Sims. Um, right now, we're on a really big Sims kick. But I'll also do um, Genshin Impact, Animal Crossing, and sometimes we'll do late night DVD streams. I have an addiction to, to DVD, and it's really bad. Um, but yeah, so in Sims, we do the 100 Baby, um, Not So Berry, and also the Elemental Legacy, and also sometimes some building. Uh, you're also doing the 100 Baby Challenge. Nice, nice. How many kids are you up to? Uh, I thought we were at 59 kids, but apparently we're at 61. So, I lost count somewhere along the way. 
Uh, my bad. This is why I have my mods. Uh, your follow notifications, Kim Possible too. Nice. I love Kim Possible. Uh, my sim self actually has a Kim Possible inspired outfit. Um, absolutely, I wanted to be Kim Possible. Um, yeah, all the things. So um, all of my alerts are kind of a nod to like some of my favorite things. So when you guys came in, you heard Danny Phantom. Um, cause honestly, like I love doing Danny Phantom. Love that. Love that show so much. So much. Really sad. The creator's kind of a turd rocket, but yes. Um, Danny Phantom is amazing. Danny Phantom is amazing. Love it. Um, let's see. Yeah, so, but yeah, welcome on in, guys. Welcome on in. You're only on 13. Nice, nice. So you're just at the starting stages. Yeah, so somehow we're over almost halfway through. We started it back in October. Um, I am doing this challenge with all babies with one matriarch. And every 25 kids, we have to reset the world. Not only do we have to move to a new house, but we also have to reset the household funds to zero. And then on top of that, she can't. She has to find a new way to make money that she hasn't previously used. So it's a lot of fun. Um, we themed each set of 25. So the current set that we are in is set three, which is based off of books. So all of the dads and kids are based off of book characters. I tried to make it a little bit more fun and a lot less tedious and like grueling so yeah totally 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 fun and then i get random moodlets that i have no idea what they mean so apparently something here is filthy but i can't find any like plates or anything like that to where it would be filthy so i don't know i think it might just be glitched we'll see though um, how do you pick the names once you have a theme? So we have a channel point redemption, um, and three people can, uh, suggest a name. And then as a community, we will vote on those three names. I do allow them to use bits or channel points to really push for a name. Um, so sometimes we can get off the wall names, just like this last one that we had. This last one is Mad Hatter, based off of the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Which the reason why Alice in Wonderland is not... Um, considered Disney in this instance is because it is a two book series. So, yeah. Um, then we have Enoch from Miss Peregrines. We have Prim from The Hunger Games. Uh, Layla from, what's she from? A Thousand Splendid Sons. We have Cujo from Cujo. Previously, we had Tigger and Eeyore. Um, Tiffany from The Silver Linings Playbook. Cat in the Hat from Dr. Seuss. Watson from Sherlock Holmes and Hazel from The Fault in Our Stars. Um, just to give you an idea of some of the dads that we've had, uh, Georgia Kincaid, Newt from uh, Maze Runner. Well, we had Newt and Thomas from Maze Runner. Um, we had Wally or Waldo from Where's Waldo. Um, Gail and Peta from Hunger Games. Count Olaf. Beverly Marsh from It. Arm Armand Gamache, which I don't remember what he's from. Um... Christopher Robin from Winnie the Pooh, and then Gilbert Blythe from um, Anne of Green Gables. And then we just had Lena from Slayers. It has definitely been a wild ride um, because also, too, we have a fun little thing that gets to happen sometimes where um, once a donor has been made useful, then uh, they have to endure what we call the 50-50, which is a coin flip. And uh, that coin flip will determine if they get to live and stay in the save file and go about their lives doing whatever they want. Or if they are going to be sent to Vlad. And if they are sent to Vlad, then unfortunately they become a test subject and we spin the Wheel of Doom to determine what happens to them. So, yeah. Um, and oopsie daisy for the Discord link, if you just whisper a mod, we had an issue with it yesterday. So, at least for this week, um, the mods are are giving out the discord join links so um and christy thank you so much for the lurk and darla thank you for the lurk as well um and the swifty plant creep plant crepe thank you so much for the follow welcome to the cabana grab a drink grab a lunch chair and get comfy so yeah it's it's basically it's this basically has been a very high intensity version of the challenge but it's fun it's definitely fun are you? What are you doing? Oh. 
she wants to sleep. Of course she does. All right, well, take care of the child first and then sleep. Um, so we've only been in the house for 11 kids and we're already at 135,000. Um, so I think she probably doesn't need to, to do any more yard sales. What do you guys think? Should we stop with the yard sales? Because I don't foresee her needing money. We're already going to have a large percent, like a large return that we're going to have to um, zero out. High intensity, low impact. We haven't had enough triplets. You guys and your triplets. No. Oh, everyone is asleep. I was like, why is it speeding up so fast? Because everyone's asleep. Duh. That, yeah. Let me guess. Grandkid. Beatrix. Or Beatrix, yep. Yeah. Beatrix has died, apparently. Apparently, we had a grandchild named Beatrix. Which, wait, no. We, we barely touched on her earlier. So, okay. But, yeah. Also, too, with the new neighborhood stories updates. Um, yeah. So, it tells us now when grandkids pass away and then everybody gets sad. Yeah, so our writing is almost done. Our writing... So, look, I'll show you our skills. Um, we've maxed out... The ones that we maxed out already because we needed them was media production. Um, charisma. Painting, cooking, handiness, and parenting. Gardening, I think I'm just going to have her sit and read. Um, fitness, we're going to try to max out. Writing, we're going to max out. Logic is almost... Is at a level 7, almost a level 8. So I think what I might do is, since she's hungry, I'm going to have her repair this broken sink first and then get leftovers of the big food. And then I'm going to send her out to go stargaze. So that way we get the logic skill up. And then, yeah, so gardening is almost done. Fitness is almost done. Writing's almost done. Um... Yeah, so we've done most things that she'll need to do. She's pretty much almost done. Your computer locked itself during gameplay. Oh, no, that's not good. That is not good. All right, way to go, you. Okay, so whatever was bugging her is gone now. Now it's back. All right, go mob. Did you even eat? You did not eat. Come here and eat. Come here and eat your food. I don't know why you're not eating. Please eat. This is why we save often. Oh, yes. Thank you. I have not saved in a while. So let us save. All right, come on, let's 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 do this. I'm hoping this helps her. I don't know what else is filthy. Oh, that was it. All right, all right. Go play chess or something. Leave the toddler alone. Come up here and play video games. You are going to get my toddlers taken away from me. Knock it off. Oh, wait. No, you need potty first. So go potty. And then come eat. I don't like how long it's taken us to get these toddler skills up. I do not like it at all. And now it's deciding to update. Oh, yes. Apparently they did do a back-to-back -back update, which is very odd for them. But okay. Okay. Uh, you usually do a save managed worlds often because your game glitches. That's fair. That's fair. Um, so they were able to do video games like from their cell phones, I thought, even in base game. It's been so long since I've played base game. Are you serious? Go super fish and baby care. Are you done eating? All right, then potty help from mom. Did you even eat? You did. All right. You did. 
Nope, you don't get to sit. I don't know why you're wanting to go upstairs, though. Um, does anyone else have a time glitch in the game? I don't think I've ever had a time glitch. Oh, you only have base game and seasons, and you do have an option for video games? Okay. So, yeah. So, it might be that video games, like, move to the TV or something. Um, but I was gonna say, I was pretty sure that video games came with base game. So. Yeah. All right. What is this? What are you going to do next, child? Meet new sibling. Meh. All right. All right. I'll, let you, I'll allow it. I shall allow it. Oh, uh, yes. You've gotten the time glitch. You'll skip like half a day when you save or move lots. Wait, really? Huh. I wonder how many people are having that same issue. Well, that's interesting to know. Definitely interesting to note. Mm, let's look. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go. Sims Forum. Game issues. Let's look at the time glitch. Um, I don't see anything on there yet, but that doesn't mean it's not a known glitch. Hmm. That's odd. That is very odd. All right. Are you done with pottying yet? Almost. All right. Great. So Prim, what does Prim need? Prim needs potty too. So actually it'd probably be easier to get potty help from mom. Yeah, let's go get potty help from mom. Instant save managed worlds fixes it though, but it comes back. Yeah, it might be part of the error, error zero thing that was going on. So hopefully with the, whatever they pushed out will work. Yeah, ho hopefully that'll work. All right, come on. Why are you going to meet the new sibling too? You're supposed to be potty training. Meet the new sibling. All right. Come on. Be finished with that. Come on. Potty help. No sit. Why do they want to go sit upstairs? I don't understand. I do not understand. I need to reset you. You're glitched. All right, you come here and babble to this. This is why I don't want multiple toddlers. Because so much can go wrong. All right. All right, just keep a babble in a way. All right. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, you've had it for a hot while. Oh, well, then it might not be part of that. I'm not sure. That's a good question, though. I would definitely say if you have Twitter. Um, I think it's... Is it Sim Guru Nick? Yes, so if you're having that issue... Um... And you have Twitter, uh, tweet at SimGuru Nick. Uh, he's constantly tweeting asking for people to tell him about bugs. So that might be, especially like if you don't have a way, like if you don't have an account on the EA website um, to post on their forums, that's a, a good way to let the gurus know that there's a really bad bug. So yeah, if, if, cause then also two people will check that. And if they have the same bug, they'll reply to it. Um, that, cause I remember I let them know of a bug that way a couple of months back. It was just a minor bug that fixed in the very next update. They just hadn't realized yet that it was an issue. 
So, definitely, definitely something to, to do. And the Mother Sim, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Um, now, I know sometimes uh, UI cheats will glitch out and it will forcibly, like, skip and, like, kill your Sims. Um, but that was supposed to have been fixed in the last update. So, if you use any mods first, make sure you've updated them. That's the number one thing. I typically will check mods about every other week to see if the modder has updated them. Yeah, so the first thing I would do is go and check all of your mods. And that's why it's so important, guys. If you use mods in CC, please organize your mods folder. Even if you don't organize your CC, put all your CC into a separate, like, in, like put a folder and do CC. Um, and make that be your where you put all your downloaded CC, but make sure your mods are at least organized by like who the modder is so you can go back and fix it later. Once, if they break, if you don't update, if you don't keep your mods folder organized, it can be a hot mess. A hot mess. What are you crying over? Child, quit crying. Quit crying. Come over here, play, and all that stuff. I need you to stop crying. Oh, and you didn't even finish babbling to the bear. I can't. Are you done with movement yet? Almost done. Okay. I'll update besides one. Okay, yeah. If it's still doing it, with, even with mods updating, I would definitely say tweet it to the gurus. Um, yes, playing in cabinets and watching other sims does raise their thinking. Um, it doesn't raise it as fast, though, as, um, being taught by an older sim. All right, communication. You're going to come over here and you're going to babble to big puds. Babble to big puds. And then we're going to have mom potty train you and aid you up. We've got until 8, till 10 p.m. tonight. I am going to get this toddler done. People like you. Sure. Go away. You're not the main focus right now. Alright. Actually, come clean these really quick. No. Do not. I do not want a job. I do not want a job right now. I'm busy raising my children. Alright. Prim can now talk. Great. Now, Prim, come potty. And see, it's all... We're running behind with the tots. This is not good. Imagination level three. Wonderful. Go talk Go talk to the bear. What are you mad about? Oh, you're fine. You're just mad because you don't have any social. I mean, honestly, fair though. Fair. So, yours are updated too. Maybe it's the game. Yeah, it might be. You know, Honestly, with Sims, you never know. You legit never know. All right. Go potty again after you're done with that. Come on. Communication level two. Great. Great. Keep a babbling. Keep a babbling. Yep. Keep babbling. There you go. No, I don't want the job. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now go take care of the baby. Because I don't care about the teenagers and the children. So just keep a talking. So you got, then you'll have your movement, communication, imagination. You'll just have the others to do. Okay, we're getting there. You find out why it locked the charger wasn't all the way in? Well, that's a good thing. It means that it's it's an easy way to fix it. I've done that many times. Never good when you do that. All right, mental level seven. Is there anything food-wise is good? I don't know what she's doing, but okay. Communication level three. Great, kiddo. Great. No. Wait. Oh, I just had an idea. 
All right. Um, you can come over here and teach shapes to this child. Um, and Tanisha, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. I don't care about jobs. Please stop trying to, to give me jobs. Oh, we are so close, guys. We are so close. We are so close. Come on, you can do it. I don't care about these spirits. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Ah. 95. All right, this is the last one. And then we're going to age this child up. Ha! There we go. All right, stop pottying. Stop pottying and age up. Wait, wrong one. Candles help from mom. All right. Whew, that was stress. That was stress. That was not fun. But hey, we're good. We're good. And we'll put this toddler to sleep. Because the toddler needs to go to sleep. And hi, Denisha. How are you? How is your day going? And yes, we can do some bingo. I will go ahead and open it up for you guys to grab a bingo card. All right, there you go. And in the meantime, we're going to age this problematic child up. We'll discuss this pop-up in a second. All right. While that toddler is a toddling. All right. So all to level three. Come on. Where are you? Where Where are you going? Child, where, where are you going? I... Are you going to age up or what are we doing? What's the plan? All right. There we go. That that was weird. That was weird. Okie doke. So Prim is going to be competitive. It's really liking competitive right now. All right. So, this is going to be out of four. All right. So, this is going to be a artistic prodigy who's also creative. Does this work for Prim? If it does, I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right. We will lock it in. Okie doke. What does she need? She needs to just take, come take a nap. Yeah, so actually just come up here and sleep. That'll work for you. Um, but yes, so she will actually have school tomorrow. Yes, so she'll have school tomorrow. That'll work. And thank you for reminding me to take a drink. All right, we're going to get a lot of gifts, I think. Okay, we're getting 19 gifts for her. I am okay with that. Definitely okay with that. So, you need to sleep. So super efficient baby care and sleep. What about you? What are you doing? All right. So she needs everything quickly. Okay. Do that and then you go to sleep. Because you're ready for school, right? It just started. All right. And thank you for the lurk. Thank you. Uh, Yeah, 19. So yeah, that's once the further you get into... However many um, babies that you have, if you have parenthood, you start getting gifts in the mail from them. So, yeah, 19 people sent her gifts. 
And the gifts are typically the toys or it's the stuff that I was just selling. So toys, seeds, um, sometimes metals, sometimes like capsules, small things like that, like trinket, like trinket type things. So yeah, you you sell them, you get some money. You know what? It's it's eight o'clock. It's fine. You can take forever to to get that. Yeah. And then do your extra credit work out. Do your extra credit work and then go back to sleep. There we go. All right, Prim, you're going to do your homework when you wake up. We're going to move this into yours. Move this into yours. And once you're done with that, oh, you you're going to need to eat. You know what? We're going to have you eat a leftover of... Oh, apparently not. How much is left here? Three. Oh, we're good. We're good. I was afraid for a second. Oh, where are the other kids? So all of the other kids have already moved out and they are scattered across all of the worlds. So if you would like to take a look at all of the kids that we've had... I am still working on the plum tree for it, but there is the list to the big spreadsheet uh, that'll tell you everything you need to know about the babies. So it, we've tracked who their dad is, uh, what occult are they, what gender they were, toddler traits, ch and all of their uh, childhood traits all the way on. So yeah, we've tracked quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, keep getting the monster under the beds, have the special lamp and it's on, mom sprays and still have the problem. If you're able to, MC Command Center, because that turns it off. Um, I haven't had to deal with the monster under the bed in a long time, because I turned it off. Um, but if not, what I did before I got MC Command Center was I would put the nightlight, I would put multiple nightlights in the room. So, and I would put it, like, on the base of the, on the ground, not up on the side. So, I, yeah, I would put it on the bottom, and then I would hide it behind the, um, nightstands. So, yeah. That's how I got around it. Um, and that usually did help. Because if you put it up too high, then it doesn't seem to work. Um, but if you put it down on the bottom, it's like it constantly shines a light under the bed. I don't know. It's been a long, like I said, it's been a long time since I've had, I've done the monster. I've dealt with the monster under the bed. I think it's like a tentacle monster, like maybe an octopus. I don't know. I remember the one time I saw it, I was like, oh, it's Ursula's sister. And I was like, no, it's not Morgana. That's being kind of mean to Morgana. All right, come on, finish your homework. And then go to bed. Yeah, finish homework, go to bed. You need to eat first. Yeah, so she'll be good with that. She'll be good with that. Um, of course, Enoch's very hungry. You know what? Come get your food. Thank you. If you use the bunk beds, you don't get monsters either. Wait, really? So if you have both the top and the bottom bunk or just the top bunk? Because I can see with the if you have the, just the top bunk, I can see why you wouldn't get monsters under the bed. Um, but I wonder if it, would, if it works for if you have the top and the bottom bunk. We may have to test that. Okay, Enoch, finish your food. Finish your food, and then I'm going to have you sit here and just play Sim Shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you just use the top bunk. Okay, no, that's good to know. That's good to know. It, it's very helpful to, like, find out tricks like that. Because most people probably wouldn't have even tried it, period. All right, so bingo's ready. O slash if you're ready to do a quick round of bingo. Yep, there we go. 
Um, and Kate, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. You wonder if the bottom bunk ever gets it, if the kid would react. Right? Like, that's something that I feel like we need to test out one of these days. All right. So, if there is a, if there are things that you would like tested out, um, keeping in mind that I have all the packs except for Bust the Dust, Menswear, and Journey to Batu. If you guys want to make a list and throw it in the sim section of the Discord, um, we can spend a day, uh, just a random day in the coming days, just testing out all of these things to see if they work or not. So, yeah, we can definitely do that. That sounds like fun. All right. Bingo time. I apologize in advance if this makes you hungry. I'm already hungry. But that's why I have my... My checks mix. All right. If you have never done bingo with us before and you would like to join bingo, it's a very, very simple and best of all, it is free. All you have to do is hover over the video over this direction. A thing will pop out. It'll say live bingo. Click that. Click grab your free card. Everybody gets one free card. If you would like additional ones, they are 200 biddies a piece. If you are on mobile, it'll be at the top of your chat. All right. And, oh, also to play bingo, you do not have to dob anything. It auto-dobs for you. All you have to do is watch, and then if you get a bingo, um, it is going to be the diagonal or the um, vertical or horizontal. We are not doing four corners. Then at the bottom, it'll say bingo. You just click that, and it sends the bingo to me. All right, let's get going. Give a second for people to grab their bingo cards. All right. Uh, you have you wondering about your MCC settings, so you have to do some testings for science. Yeah, there's a lot of new settings, so that's also another thing. If you guys want to, if you we want to play around with MC Command Center settings, yeah, let me know. All right, yes, we want to start bingo. 007, you are the chosen one. Good luck. We shall see. All right, so first one is egg, rice, broccoli, prawn, wine. You still have to learn how to do debug. Debug is fun. I can show you a quick trick on how to get into it. Um... Or, like, you can use that, or you can use, like, Twisted Mexi's uh, expanded debug or something like that. Better build by. That's what it is. I still say those peanuts do not look like peanuts. They do not. Cherry. Bacon. MC Command Center can be confusing. Yes, it can be. Banana. Chicken. Salmon. Bread. Steak. Kebab. Hot dog. Raspberry. Coffee. Pomegranate. Peas, ich. Hamburger. Noodles. Spaghetti. Chocolate. Mushrooms. Apple. Strawberry. Nachos. Oh, we got a bingo. All right, all right, all right. We got a bingo. All right, so we'll give it a second to see if anybody else gets a bingo. There we go. There's another one in. All right. If you are one away, put a root in chat. 
Uh, so, Fair, what you do is when you hover over the screen, it'll say live bingo, and then you click that to join. All right. Well, congrats to our two bingo winners. So, Munchkin and Gaming, congrats, congrats, congrats. All right. There we go. Add points to Munchkin. And then add points to gaming. All right, there you go. Well, thank you guys. It's always a fun way to um, break it up and get everybody rejuvenated again. Always fun. Always fun. All right. You are two away on two sides. Oof. That's always rough, though. Like, that's, that's super rough. Super, super, super rough. All right. So we have one toddler we're going to have to buckle down because. Oh, he eats. The, the next one eats today. How are we like, is it just me or is like, is it flying by like twice as fast? We just had her get pregnant. Literally just had her get pregnant do not understand all right once you're done eating go stargaze and then do your homework before you go to school that'd be great thanks the time is going by really fast hey boy come here nope all right where's mom going mom's going to watch oh wait if you're here to watch you can teach shapes to the toddler. I know you're hungry, but this is kind of more important. If you can teach shapes to, to Enoch, then we might be able to do that on our own while you eat. So come on, let's, let's teach shapes. And Enoch is going to throw a fit. All right, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. It'll be fine. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Come on now. We can do it. We can do it. What are you doing? Do your homework first just to be on the safe side. I don't trust you. Because then I can just push you until you're done. Like a typical toddler. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. All right, 63, 64. I'm gonna say you're probably gonna need to do, it, to do it two more times, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna say two more times. Yeah. All right. Come on, finish that so we can do it again. Oh, wait. Oh, please don't fall back to like 99. I'll be so sad. Okay, good. We did get to level two. We did get to level two. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Come over here, super fish and baby care the baby, and then I will have you eat. I need you to make more food anyway, so this works. This works for us. Maybe. Oh, uh, your toddler was having tandem because she couldn't put on five pairs of pants at the same time? I mean, if your toddler's able to manage that, like, please tell us your toddler's secret. Because that is amazing. That is amazing. All right, you're going to come here and you're going to keep doing shapes. I know you're tired, kiddo. But I'm going to need you to get your your skills up. Yeah, so I'm going to need you to get your skills up.
Okay, she's making food. Okie dokie. She just learns fast and wants to do everything herself. I mean, that's fair. That's a good, that's a sign of independence and that's a good one. All right. Collect, wait, did you finish your homework though? 75% done. Do your homework. Stop what you're doing and do your homework. I don't care. Stop what you're doing and do your homework. I need you to do your homework before school. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right. All right, come on, you can do it. You desperately need someone to talk to. I know. I, I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine, toddler. It's fine. All right. Rebate day. We're going to end rebate day early because we don't do that here. We don't need to. Um, an Inky Labyrinth, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lounge chair, and get comfy. Yes, I know rebate day was awful. I get it. I get it. All right. I guess I will let the toddler go to sleep. Yeah, go ahead, eat dirt. Sure, why not? Why not? Go to sleep. And school starts very soon. Uh, is there leftovers to eat by chance? There is. I don't understand. Uh, take a shower, use the bathroom. What do you need? You need to eat. All right, come eat. Didn't mom make fresh food or did I put it? I already put it in there. Okay. I was going to say, what happened to our fresh food? All right. So since mom doesn't need to do anything right now, we are actually going to send her to go practice her writing to max out that skill. Uh, middle child is like that. Switch to underpants and socks. Much easier. All right. And here you're throwing tantrums when mom tried putting tights on you. Uh, but Alina, back in the day, that was what everybody wore. We didn't wear, like, pants and, like, socks. Everybody, all the kids were putting tights. I don't know why. It was just a big thing. Like, all the girls were putting the tights. When it's very obvious that toddlers hate being put into stuff like that. Are the babies at CC? No, they are not. They are actually from Eco Lifestyle. So these, these ones right here are the Eco Lifestyle beds. They're so cute. They're the best looking toddler beds in the game. Um, and then this play tent right here is from Dream Home Decorator. The beds are pretty much still there just for the aesthetics. Uh, because the tent is where you want the toddlers to sleep. Because if you look at the toddler right now, the toddler is in the red. Normally, this would take literally almost the entire day to get the sleep need up. Um, but you see, it goes up in twos instead of by one. So, it goes up twice as fast. Even boys had tights. Probably. Probably. All right. All of our kiddos have gone to school. Great. Great. Tights were definitely a thing. Um, and these right here, these are from Realm of Magic. I got them out of Debug. Mm -hmm. So yeah, these are these are Realm of Magic bassinets. So nothing in this house is CC. Everything in this house you can be found in the game. So yeah, even this out here is not CC. This is just terrain paint and the toddler fencing. Uh, the tent is from Dream Home Decorator. 
The bassinet, these are my favorite bassinets. These are. And even this right here, this changing table, is basically a dresser and an ottoman raised up. Mm hmm Yeah, so it's, I've made stuff based upon, like, what I needed. So, yeah, it looks like a changing table, but it's, um, it's just handcrafted. So, yeah, it's just, I just do small stuff like that. Oh, uh, let's see what else. Like, these are all just raised up. They are not actually placed there. Um, let's see. Yeah, I just raised stuff up there. Raised stuff up to put those there. Um, let's see. I raised up the... Uh, soap pumps and the uh, toothbrush holders, which I'm actually going to do a TikTok on how you do this. Because I know a lot of people don't know how to do this. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do one on how to place those. And, yeah, so I think, and then, oh, yeah, these are up there at the top. Uh, confess the truth. So, yeah, it just, I don't know, it was just fun stuff to do. So, yeah. There is not a changing table in-game, no. So, basically, any that we have are purely for aesthetic purposes only and are non-functional. Uh, you can't ever get that perfect when you raise items. Yes, so this, um, there is a way to do it without using CC. So, I'm going to, oh, that's what the TikTok is going to be. It's I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Um, without using red shelf. I'll show you how to do it with red shelf and then without red shelf. Um, so yeah, so that way you guys, you guys can see it. And yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely going to surprise you. It's, it's not something that people think that, it, think to do or think to try. And I love it when I can do stuff like that. Uh, what's my TikTok if you do right there? Yeah, there's the toddler building blocks activity table. Um, but you have to build that first. And I get annoyed by it, so I literally never use it. Yeah, never, ever use it. Um, It should because it's an in-game only thing. And um, yeah, you should be able to. I think if you, you may have to turn move objects on for it, um, but you should be able to, because you're just using, um, tools that the game already has in there. Um, no, you know, actually, no, I don't think, because, yeah, you would just have to, like, when you, um, yeah, you would have to use move objects, and then I think the Sims 3 camera, but apart from that, yeah. I think you can. Someone told me you could. So, yeah. I'll show you how to do it with uh, with those things. Yeah. Oh, it's free placement. That's what it is. Yeah, you just need free placement. So, you don't actually need move objects on. So, it's free placement. That's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah. So you just need free placement for it. So yeah, it's it's a, it's called just called something different. But yeah, it's, as long as you have free placement turned on, you can do it. It's real. It's yeah. It's really simple um, because you can actually do it all at ground level and then move it up. For Xbox, click both trigger buttons to open console commands. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure. I'll put it when I when I do it. I'll put it um, in the um, yeah. I'll, I'll put it either in the description or in the comments area for it. So yeah. I'm yeah. I'm not sure what it is. I know in I know on on here it's um, BB dot move objects. I know a lot of creators will tell you to put the words on on it, but you don't really need that. You see to do that. There's only um, certain ones that need the on or off at the end. Which I also need to do the one that, that turns off the plumb bob. 
because people don't remember that that's a thing either. Getting mail, pay the bills. Let's see how much money we got to make. So we're paying 5,556. We're going to make back more than that. Yes, I do. Um, I have one that I am working on. I just can't get the layout of it right. I don't like it. So I'm not releasing it until I like it. So, yeah, Adelina, you can. How do you think I get my screenshots? Because when, yeah. When, when you do this, like when you see this, even if you do the uh, tab camera, you still see the plumb bob. Now, you can switch to someone else in the household and get it without the plumb bob there, but that's very tedious to do. So basically, all you do is it's headline effects off, and boom, it's gone. Even though I'm selected on her and I'm selecting everything, it's not popping up. But then you can easily turn it back on. Headline effects on. The plumb bob is the diamond above their heads. Yeah. <sighs> Infant, why are you crying? Stop a crying. Okay, why are you coming in here to talk when you need to be eating? I swear. These children. Uh, but yeah, it's small stuff like that. So yeah, it's... You don't have to have, like, Red Shelf or Tool to do stuff. You can do stuff with regular base game stuff. You should have gotten plums while you were at the store. No. Are you just going to stand there? Oh, because mom was trying to do that. No, I told you. Take care of the infant and go pay your bills. You're going to get my children taken away from me. And then I'm going to eat you. All right, you go do that. I am going to clean the house. Come on. There we go. Oh, and also a thing to note about this. Um, if it's just one sim, it pays you 10 simoleons per item per sim in the house. So if you drop a dish in and you have eight, pe eight sims in your house, you'll get 80 simoleons. If you only have one, it'll give you 10 simoleons. So a lot of people don't realize that it's a scalable uh, return. And sometimes if you're lucky, um, toddler poop, will give you double. Just depends. Yeah. Plums were nasty this year. I haven't had a good plum in years. I kind of gave up on that. All right. Sending you back to sleep. That was a wasted amount of getting up. I guess you had to pee too bad or something. I don't know. Maybe you're too hungry. I don't know. Uh, that was the most annoying things about Sims was the annoying social worker taking away your kids. Yeah, so now they just whisk them away and you don't actually see them. All right, so Cujo is... Prim became a B student? Are you telling me that they're going to age up like twins? Nice. All right, guys, it is time. We are kicking Cujo out of the house. Come here, Cujo. I don't care. Blow your candles out. Uh, but, um, if you could give mom your project, that'd be great. Okay, thanks. Sell those. All right, come blow your candles out. Come on, I know you're sad. It's okay. You can go be sad elsewhere. But, so you guys can see, he is an A student, so he's ready to get out. Okay, bye. Alrighty, so Cujo is competitive health nut, who is also a kleptomaniac. Alright, that's what we haven't had in a while. So, a competitive health nut, who is also a kleptomaniac. What do we think? Do we like it? If we like it, I will go ahead and get it locked in in 5, 4, 
three, two, one, zero. All right, so we will lock it in. So Cujo is a kleptomaniac for Kinsey. All righty, so I'm going to need you to add birthday candles to that, and then I'm going to kick you out. Yeah, it's not that we don't like you. It's that I need you out of my house so I can have more babies. So go have fun with your siblings. Wait, wrong thing. Um, maintain, move, other household. Go move in with cat. All right, bye. Uh, can you stream with console? I'm not sure. I don't know of anyone that does. But I've never asked, so. And, uh, M. Graham, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Oof, he's not having fun. It's okay. He's out of my house now. All right, so let's let's take a quick inventory and see what our kiddos need. She needs fun. She also needs to do her homework. I think if both of them do their projects that they came home with, that should be good, right? I would think so. Uh, you're going to need to observe this guy. So she's going to be a little bit more work. But yeah, so the, just a little bit more work, but otherwise should be good. So it is possible on they'll become teenagers at the same time. Okay. Okay. This might work in our favor, guys. It might work in our favor. All right. What is your sleep? Let's get your sleep just up a little bit more. Yeah, let's get your sleep up a little bit more so that way it doesn't go back down as quick. Yeah. Yay, Kenzie! Okie doke. I think we're doing really good today, and I'm kind of concerned. It's never this simple. But although, hold on. Can we talk about how epic this mohawk is, though? This mohawk is epic. Yeah, epic. Yes, thank you. Save. We have not saved in a while. We definitely need to save. And someone's skill went up. Whose skill went up? Social went up. That's not what we needed. That is not what we needed. All right. Well, let's see. Anything out here that needs to happen? Actually, I think we could probably sell this now. I don't think we need that anymore. No job offer. Thank you, though. All right. So let's sell all of these because we do not need them. No, nope, I need that still. All right. Yeah, let's sell all of these because we don't need those anymore. So 3000 back. Great. Okay, we're doing that. We're getting there. Yeah, so we're, we're getting there. Why am I keeping this Barnacle Bay postcard? We don't need a postcard. We definitely do not. No charity. We don't have time for that. Um, I'm going to mispronounce this and I do apologize. Um... Mister, thank you so much for the uh, follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lounge chair, and get comfy. If you have another name you'd like to be called by, please let us know. All right. Did no one redeem first? How long have we we've been live for two for almost three hours and no one redeemed first? That's hilarious. I love that. Uh, so you can only have quads if you change it with MC Command Center, and we have not done that. So no quads. Sorry, guys. That is. It's really, really funny. Really funny. I love that. 
absolutely love that. All right, come on. You're doing. You're taking a shower. Wait, did you finish your homework? You did. All right, do your project then. Finish your shower, then do your project. I don't care. I'm sorry. Yeah, do your project. You are working on your skill. You're going to need to get your needs up, though. Yeah, you're going to need to get your needs up. Yep. Oh, you're new to Twitch, so kind of confused. Um, So that would be a Sims thing. Oh, oh no, you're talking about the, the, that part. Uh, so there are channel point redemptions that you can get, and at the beginning of stream, it's usually a battle to see who gets to claim first, um, but no one claimed it today, apparently. So, all right. Uh, how to keep your sims spun up? The earphones? The earbuds? Oh, no, no one uses the earbuds. No. We don't, no one wants the earbuds. No one uses them. I mean, supposedly they work, but I I really don't know any simmer that actually uses the earbuds. Other than for a meme. Yeah. I, I only know of people that use it, that do it for a, the meme. Super efficient baby care. That baby's about to yeet. Go take care of your baby. Go take care of your baby. Thank you. All right, is our toddler ready to go yet? Almost, good, okay. Go take care of that. No, you don't do that. So as soon as you're done with that, the kittle will wake up and get potty help. All right, go get potty help because you need to. Uh, the earbuds, uh, basically it lets them carry a portable radio around with them wherever they are. Um... And listening to music does make your sim happier. Um, but nine times out of ten, people just ignore they exist. Uh, they became a meme once upon a time, and nobody ever unmemed them. And actually, like, found a decent use for them. Who knows? It's like the, um... It's, it's from the fitness pack. So if you don't have the fitness pack, you probably won't have the earbuds. Um, but yeah, it was just one of those... One of those things that even became a loading screen a joke. So it says, no, the one where it says, no, I don't want free earbuds. That's the joke. That is the joke. I still laugh over it because I'm like, pretty much, yeah, don't want them. I sell them as soon as I can. Um, But also, too, to sell the earbuds, if you really want to sell them, you have to do the multi-select. Otherwise, it won't actually sell them. Um, you only use the earbuds when you remember for rags to riches. Yeah, rags to riches, I think, would be the only time you would actually use them. Otherwise, you just use a stereo. So, yeah. All right. Nope, you don't get to do that again. Sorry. Potty help again as soon as you're done. You're so close. But actually, if we could have mom potty train you all night, that'd be great. Prim, who told you you could go to bed? You're so close to getting your skill up. No, Prim, you might have ruined this for yourself. Come get some food. I'll give you, like, a, a sleep replacement. Nah, we ain't doing this, Prim. Alright, sleep replacement. I will give you one. All you had to do was ask. All right, when you're done eating that, drink that, or while you're eating, sure. Um, did you do your extra credit? You did not. So do your extra credit. Oh, and you have to pee. See, she's not going to get that because she's already got her skills up. Yeah, she's already level eight. So yeah, she don't need that. She don't need that. That's a nice project. Oh, and she hungry. All right, so she's got to do that, and she's hungry, and she needs food. Well, all right. Do that. 
And then I'm gonna have you play video games. And then go to sleep. All right, so Prim, once you're done with that, use the bathroom and then go out and stargaze. All right, I think we're good. Nope, you do not get to do that. I am so sorry. Come on, we can do this. We can do this, guys. We can do this. All right, eat first. Nope. Ignore, ignore the toddler. Take the trash out. You also need to shower and eat. So by the time you shower and eat, the toddler should be done. I say should. All right, it is 3 a.m. You really need to get your project going. Oh, and mom's probably going to need to fix this. You know what? It's fine. We'll deal with that later. Oh, this entire bathroom just turned to absolutely revoltingly disgusting. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. All right. You, you go take care of things. Fine, you can do bath time when you're done. I want the toddler to be happy about stuff. What are you upset about? Very uncomfortable. I don't think you finished your extra credit work. This could be a problem. All right, come on. Your skill's almost there. Oh, mom's really going to have to help you. 95, 96, 97... 98, 99, 100. All right. Okay, so. Project time. This is how I get the kids aged up super fast, and this is how I get them out of my house. I'm actually going to make you work on it outside. Because I am mean like that. I don't want you around anyone else. All right. Wait, what just happened? Oh, it's that glitch again. There's a glitch if you go into build by mode, it'll sometimes send you to another household. Or like send you elsewhere for some reason. No, take me back. Since when did you go? No, you're no go home. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You are not going to this. I don't care. You are. I told you no. You couldn't go to the humor and hijinks festival. Yeah, this is a glitch with with the festivals. So at least they fixed the glitch where like you couldn't listen to the boombox without your game freaking out on you while at a festival. Because, yeah, it used to be that when you were at the festivals, you couldn't listen to music. Otherwise, your whole game would, like, freak out on you and shut down. So, that's why I laugh when people say that um, the wedding pack is the most glitched. Because I was like, have you seen City Living? Sounds good, uh, sounds good, Kenzie. All right. She didn't even eat. Of course she didn't. All right, Prim, not a chance. Get your butt back over here. Are these kids not taking care of themselves? Like, what the hey? Go to sleep. Do all your stuff. Why is the toddler upstairs? Go potty as much as you possibly can. Just to get that skill up. Okay, break. Get off the computer. Thank you. Go eat, because you are going to pass out, and then I'm going to laugh. All right, come on. What is mom doing? Mom is eating. 
All right, that's fine. As soon as mom's done eating, though, she's going to come out and help with the project. Because it's not going to get... It, well, I might get done in three hours. We'll give her until seven to do it herself. You've hacked Sam's account, you're back. Is this Sam or is this Jake? And hi, Fearsome, how are you? It says, or is this one of the boys? All right. Uh, no, do not talk to her. Go go to sleep. You need to go to sleep. No, you do not need to talk to her. Finish your food. Thank you. This is causing me so much stress and anxiety right now. Because I really want her to age up when she goes to school. That'd be wonderful. No, don't talk to her. Sit. Sit and finish your food. Oh, your stitches are out and you've been clear to eat whatever you want. Yay! Fearsome! Yay! It's Kenzie. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not sure if you should blindly agree to hack for white. Please don't. Please don't. But yay, fearsome! That is amazing. So, what is what is your first, uh, not like non-approved meal that you're gonna have? Like, what what are you planning on eating? All right, come on, you can do this. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna come assist with the project. Yeah, we're going to come assist with the project. Because she's got her skill all the way to level 4. Yeah, so she's going to need the help. Layla's asleep, finally. We have an angry toddler who... Yeah, it is what it is. Alright, we are cutting this so close, guys. So close. Uh, the real Kinsey would definitely agree to blindly help you. I don't know about that. I do not know about that. Come on, finish the project. Thank you. I should have started helping her earlier. You know what? It's fine. Did you get to level three yet? Almost. You're about halfway there. All right. Are you guys done? Okay. S stop talking and just help with the project. Get it done. Go to school. Both of you go to school. Thank you. Go to school. All right. View project. That's fine. That's great. That's wonderful. Can you take care of the, of the baby? Super efficient baby care. All right, you're going to school. You're going to school. Uh, you definitely need help. <gasps> you're so close to being done with potty, though. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. We might actually age these up. Okay, Layla's done. Prim, come on, Prim. Go to school. Where are you? Study hard. All right, fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. Okay. Are you... You need help. So. Potty train Enoch. Come on. Come on. We are almost there. He's very angry. It's okay. And you're the real Kinsey? Uh, Sam says you're on... Uh, you're on that account. You're on Sam's account. All right. I would believe Jake hacked Sam's account before I would believe that Kinsey hacked Sam's account. I'm just saying. Baby modest with grandma and grandpa. See? There you go.
I was gonna say somebody make a um as a uh what you call it a Taylor Swift reference and see and see who gets it. So yeah. Um, and Roseanne, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Yeah, so someone make a Taylor Swift reference and see who get see what Kinsey gets it. That's how you tell. Wyatt, that is way too way too easy. Even I know that even I would know that. Actually, at this point. At this point, like, she's taken over my FYP again. I guess you'll get a bath. I guess. I guess you'll get a bath. Uh-huh. Because apparently... Found this out today. Apparently, Swift Talk is all up in arms because somebody got bored one night, couldn't sleep, and discovered that a picture in some video, I don't even know what the video is for, but some video, Taylor is standing in front of something and the picture that she's standing in front of does not match the picture that's actually there in real life. So apparently now is some, some whole big thing. Yeah, that appeared on my FYB, and I'm like, I don't know. Number one, I don't know the video. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't even know where this place is. I don't know why this is on my FYP. And then I'm like, uh, no, wait. I do know why it's on my FYP. Kenzie. Um, uh, and Alyssa, thank you. Hello, welcome on in. I heard the rumors from Inez. Is that what it is? I have no idea. I just know that... I'm a very casual Taylor Swift fan. Very, very, very casual one. Like, the only thing that I can say that I did that was, like, not, like, goes above being just a casual fan is when the whole debacle happened over her masters. I went and I not so... How, how do I want to phrase this? I went and I downloaded her entire album, like her entire discography, through alternate means. So I could still listen to it. So. That's a song like, I, I don't, this is why I said I don't know these things. I actually don't know much about her stuff in like the past like couple of years. But apparently like in the past year... That I've known Kenzie. Now I have this random bits and pieces of Taylor Swift knowledge that I never knew I would ever have. And it's 100% Kenzie's fault. She's a doctor. Uh, wait, she's a doctor now? Since when? Since when? Um, oh, and uh, Ray, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Yeah, like, I don't know these things. You can never with Taylor. You don't get down with Swift. That's fair. That's fair. I'm surprised your FYP hasn't been invaded yet. Although, granted, the videos that you send me are usually, like, more off the wall. So, yeah. That's definitely, definitely part of it. Alrighty. Uh, you send Sam videos of Animal Crossing slash Encanto. That's fair. That's fair. And hi, Ray. How are you? All over Swift Talk. Yeah, so Kenzie is our resident, like, Swifty queen. If there's anything we need to know about Taylor Swift, we go to Kenzie for. So, Kenzie's claim to fame is that she's met Taylor Swift's mom.
The day you end up on Swift Talk is the day you use your phone and give up the internet. Oh, don't say that, Sam. Kenzie might make it her mission to put you on it. Yeah, and then, like, some, like... All of this started happening, apparently, around the time that the Empire State Building turned purple? I don't know. I don't know. I just want my random dogs back on my TikTok. That's all I want. I just want random dogs back on there. Like, there's a video I saw the other day of the dogs in a backpack. And he just turns his head and looks at you. Like, that's what I want. And thank you, Ray. Thank you. Yes, all of this is on the gallery if you guys ever want to download. Um, pretty much almost all of my builds I put on the gallery for you guys. You met her dad. Okay. I Yeah, I don't know anything about the family. <laughs> uh, thank you, Roseanne. Yeah, so this right here, um, I built it to kind of lock the toddlers in. I need to start doing... There needs to be a way to where you can lock gates according to age group. Because I would love to lock this to where, like, the kids can't get in here. Without having to change it every time a kid ages up. Uh, your FYP is all cats, books, cleaning, and neurodivergence. Fearsome, yes! That's what my that's what my FYP is normally. And then I have, like, there's, like, another random category of it's, like, anything and everything. Um, but yes, we would be sad with no Sam. We would be sad with no Sam. Although, yeah. But my FYP has some random stuff on there. No, you cannot get into a temper tantrum. Nope, sorry. You can pass out, though. No! Mad Hatter just aged up! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, we got to see it. Alright, so... Alright, guys. Oh, you've got to start getting ready. Well, sounds good. Thank you for hanging out with us. I'd say I'm all day because I'd be sending it to you. Wait, me? Oops. Uh, you'll be downloading. You started a 100 Baby Challenge two days ago. Nice. So I have, I think we counted six different 100 Baby houses on my gallery. Yeah. So, all right. Mad Hatter. Please. Please. Independent. Okay. It's the second best one. All right. If we like this, I will lock it in. In five, four, three. Dang it, Sam. Silly. Duck, duck, redeemed. Silly again. All right, if we like it, I will lock it in in five, four, three, two. Sam redeemed again. <whistles> duck, duck, thank you. Angelic. All right. Sam. Silly. All right, that is five. So he is silly, which does fit the character. Um, I tried setting her color and it didn't work. So I don't know why she's, she changes colors on me and it's really weird and I don't like it. I don't know. Bella Bot be weird. Yeah, Be Bella Bot be weird. She's supposed to be blue. No, she's supposed to be coral. I tried setting her to coral and she went to, she turned to orange. So whatever. Whatever, it's fine. No! No! You are get no, put down. You're going to sleep there. Mom is going to come over here. Oh, mom is passing out. Okay. All right. All right. What what do you need, kid? Oh, you're in perfect condition. So I'm going to have you come slide. Well, we tried. We tried. Enoch is oh, super close, though. Super close. Yeah, somehow, okay. Somehow, 
who was it? Who was it that passed away already? Um, yeah, so somehow Cameron died, but Littlefoot has not yet. So I don't know what's going on with that. Because Cameron and Littlefoot were twins, so they should have gone at the same time. So it doesn't make any sense. She used to be purple. Yeah, I tried changing her color and it didn't work, so. <gasps> grades are up. Did both, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did both of their grades come up? Please say yes. Yes! Yes! Success, guys! We are gonna be down to just two children! No, wait. No, we're not. Because they're going... Ah, they're becoming teenagers. Dang it. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. <gasps> Mom needs to bake a cake. Oh, no. We don't have a cake. Oh, no! There's no cake! I got so excited that we are kicking them out, but then I realized, number one, I don't have a cake. Number two, their kid's going to teenagers. But I don't care, because I kick them out in 24 hours. But, hamburger cake. Wake up. You are not allowed to sleep. Go make a cake. Then I can do the rest. Ah, did neighborhood, neighborhood stories get one of them? It said old age, I thought. We're going to investigate. Um, Elijah, Lucifer, number five, Buffy, Samantha, Jack, Luke, Arthur. Who is this? This was 13. Let's, let's figure out this way first. Sid, Aaron, Monica, Linda, Darren, Iris, Cameron. No, see Cameron, death by old age. But yet, Littlefoot is still alive. Is Littlefoot glitched or something? Where is Littlefoot? Littlefoot. There's Littlefoot. Oh, so he should be at any time. That's really weird. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't know. If he doesn't pass by tomorrow, that's really weird. Um, if your sim becomes a writer, you can find... Yes, um, our elemental legacy is, sim is a writer. And we just make up book titles based upon things that chat says in that exact moment. Yep. That's the most fun way to do it, is to let chat give you random phrases and words, and then you mix them all together. Um, yeah. We're so... <laughs> of course, Kujo invites his baby sister to the motive trials. You know what? Send her. Let her go. How come mom isn't aging? It's because she's staying pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's staying pregnant until um, pretty much as, as much as we can. And pregnant sims do not age. No thanks, not interested. Well, she's exhausted, so I don't think she's going to win. All right, good luck to you. It's the first time I've ever had a kid be invited to the motive trials. But all right. Use the bathroom because you need to pee. Simicate. You want Phoenix to die before you leave? Yeah, pretty much. What the? Oh, she's passing out again. Well, when you're done, resume the hamburger cake. Because we can't age up until she comes home. Let's see. I mean, she's already exhausted, so I don't think she's going to make it. Yeah, she probably won't. But that's fine. We'll get a cake out of this.
Okay, there is Littlefoot. All right, all right. I was gonna say when 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 you when he dying when when he dying. <laughs> all right. So then after Littlefoot should be Ron. Oh wait, Ronald's already dead. Yeah, it was weird. Littlefoot for some reason. I guess Littlefoot got more bonus days than the others. I don't know. Oh, she went into labor. How cute. Um, but Clementine and Trinity and Fiona are the next three. So. Oh, you know what? No, we need to send her now because one of our kids is about to die. So. Have baby at hospital. Join. And go. Oh no, she's passed out. Well, all right, this is a thing that's happening. Yeah, I like guys, you didn't you guys act like you never heard of anybody saying things like stabby stab stab to describe a dabber, a dagger. Yeah. Like it's a thing. I would play a good rogue. What's a what do you mean by rogue? Um, oh, Sam did a quote too. No eating sexy pose. Tell me Bella Bull isn't a troll. You didn't pick it this time. She's talking about eating. We all knew Bella Bot was a troll though. We all knew that. Bella Bot is definitely a troll. It's a class in D&D. I know nothing about D&D. All right, everyone's been sent to daycare. Oh, wait. No, you don't get to go home. I forgot. We got to gamble our points. So start the prediction. Boy or girl. Go ahead, gamble your points away, guys. It's a sneak, stealthy, sneaky character that likes to disarm traps and pick locks. And stabby, stabby. Oh. No, I wouldn't be good at that. I'm not very sneaky. I'm not very sneaky. I'm, yeah, I'm not very sneaky. I don't know why the it changed. Wait, no, our doctor did die on us. That's a different one. No, you don't get to go eat. There we go. All right, so start thinking of baby names, guys, ga and gamble your points. All right, so the last ones that we've had, looking at our spreadsheet, two males back to back. Before that was two females, before that was two males. So we might be going on a back and forth. We might not be. Up to you. We'll have to wait and see. Um, and Exodem, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the cabana. Grab a drink, grab a lunch, share, and get comfy. Uh, sneak attack, it's all based on dice rolls. Yeah, I, I never have good luck rolling dice with anything. Except in, no, actually, no, I take that back. Even in Farkle, I still don't get good dice rolls. So, Yeah. I, I still don't, but it is what it is. All right, so you've got a couple of seconds left to get your predictions open. Or predictions in, I guess, I should say. All right, well, let's go find out. 47 of you said boy, 53% said girl. Okay, we'll find out. Welcome back, Munchkin. Welcome back. All right. Create a garlic bread from not being a vampire. Absolutely not. No, buy a toy. What is this? Buy a popcorn popper. No, I'm not buying you that. These aspirations are crap.
Sure. You already have an easel. All right. I'm going to say it's going to be a girl. Yeah, I'm going to go with girl. All right. And it is a dun dun dun. Girl, I was right. Yes. All right. So let me give you your points back. All right, girl. Twins or a single. All right. So this one is a shorter one. So keep that in mind. All right. The prediction is live. Go ahead and look for it. If you don't see it, you might need to refresh. While we are doing that, let me get the... The name thing set up. Because I have to extend it. Hold on one second. Um, all right, there you go. All right, I am about to open up the name uh, redemptions. So remember, it cannot be... Disney, Harry Potter, Divergent, Twilight, Fifty Shades of Grey, or Winnie the Pooh. And when you put it, give me the character and the book that it is from. All right, it is open. Go ahead and add those in. All right, I've got one. So give me some more. Give me some more while I set this poll up. All right. So we have Addie from the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Pony Girl from the Outsiders. I pretty I can't spell girl apparently. I typed G O R L instead. All right, all right. Um, or Iota from Around the World in Eighty Days. All right, let me set up this. All right, go ahead and vote in the poll. All right, go ahead and vote in the poll. If you do not see it, you may need to refresh. Uh, triplets, please? No, no triplets. And hi, Allie. How are you? Uh, we are doing book name, book character names. So, hold on. Fierce, I'm reading your mind. Um, Visible Life of Addie LaRue. I have, don't think I've ever heard of it. So, yeah, Fearsome, could you put that book title in the book nook section? That way I remember. Um, so yes, so I only take three names at a time because we do use channel points to gamble to, uh, not gamble, channel points to where you can, so okay, let me rephrase that because I just can talk myself in a circle. Uh, so we only take three names at a time to make it easier for the voting because during the voting you are allowed to use channel points or bits to um, sway how the vote goes. Yeah, so, all right. Apparently, words are very hard today. Words are very, very hard today. I don't know. But thank you, Fearsome. Or Sam, either one. Wait. What are you saying? Why are you saying you're invisible? I confuse. I'm confused. I'm confused. Why? I did say I love you. What the what? What the heck? What the heck? Oh wait, you did. Where? 
in? Where? Oh, you did. Okay, Sam. Sam. That was two months ago. That was two months ago. I don't remember things I said at the start of stream. We had this whole conversation yesterday about how I have crap short-term memory. No, Sam knows I love her. That's why she didn't get chewed out on stream for what she did before stream. All right, so Addie is the name of this one. Yeah, two months ago was forever ago. Two months ago was an entire lifetime ago. It really is. All right, so Addie is the name that won for this one. Now let's see. Is it going to be twins or a single birth? Three, two, one. Bella to chat zero. I win this time. Yeah, Sam, you know I don't remember these things. I'm sorry. All right, so. I'm happy. I win. You're sick of the game not giving you multiples? i sorry. What the? <laughs> she literally just pulled that out of thin air. Like, no big deal. Like, what the heck? What just happened? I don't know. Alright, so. Baby count goes up. The outcome is a single birth, and then immediately we have to put the the thing the thingy up. Yeah. Ba da 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 This is one of those songs that you just kind of see like dogs just like tippy tapping along down the street. Yeah, that's, that's basically what I think of when I hear this song. <laughs> and yes, it is new dad time. It is. I, yeah, you guys used all the all the juju to get to get the internet back up and running. So, yeah, that that was a thing. I haven't had a kid in this one in a while. All right. All right. Okay, let's vote on the new dad. Thank you for reminding me to take a drink. And thank you for the lurk, Alley. All right. Okie doke. So. Next dad. The next dad, let's see. We have, we haven't done this one in a while. Rand Al Thor from Wheel of Time. Then we'll go with Mordecai Roberts. From the Crestomancy. All right. Uh, well, then we'll go with Basilton Pitch from the books Carry On. Um, let's see. Marcus Whitmore. Oh, well, I'll just go Marcus because it's too long. 
from the All Souls. And then, let's see. There was one other one that caught my eye. I gotta find it now. Oh, it was this one. Or Matthew de Claremont from the All Souls. All right. Go ahead and vote in the poll. So we'll have Randall Thor, Mordecai, Basil, uh, Basilton, Marcus, or Matthew. What are you ooing, yes? What are we ooing, yes, Sam? Yeah, what what are we ooing? What yeah, what what are we ooing? Oh, Matthew. Okay. Uh yes, yeah, so we got Basilton. Matthew. I gotta find him now. Randall Thor. Do we use this one? Marcus. We're, there was one other one. I don't remember which ones I used. Mordecai. Uh, Crestomancy. Where? Uh, ba -da -ba -da -da -ba -da. This one, This guy. Mordecai. All right, I had I had to I had to look him up. The same book brain? That's fair. All right. And here, there goes the borker. I don't the borker's going to bork. Pretty much borker's going to bork. All right, keep voting, keep voting. You got like what? 10 seconds left to vote? Something like that? Um, how do I know if I've already used them? Yes, so we have a spreadsheet and um, we have, I also um, heart each ones that I've already used. So when I'm looking here, I know which ones I've used. Uh, the Kane Chronicles by Uncle Rick. Are you, like, it's uh, Rick Riordan, is that who you're talking about? Um, I'm doing, currently doing a reread of the Percy Jackson, uh, novels because I recently got my hands on the Apollo, uh, series. So I want to go back and reread all of those. So yes, um, I've read about halfway through them and then I wasn't able to get my hands on the books. So now that I have them all, it's on my list to do a reread. Uh, anytime like a new book, a new book in a series comes out, um, I reread the entire series up to that point, so that way I everything's fresh in my mind. He's being super borky right now. Don't know why. It's like cold outside, so I don't know why you pe why these people are outside. All right, so we got Matthew. I gotta pull my thingy. Where's my thingy? There, there it is. Is this him? Yeah. All right. Is he a vampire? He's a vampire. All right. All right, so first and foremost, go take care of the babies. What did, What do you need? Do you need... Oh, your thinking's almost done. Go do your shapes really quick. You are crying. I sleep. No, don't sleep. Make believe and play inside. We're going to try to get you up. Actually, before we do that, we are going to age the girls up. So apparently, all right, you know what? It's okay. Um, because we do need to age them up anyway. So blow out your candles and come sit. Give me one sec, guys. All right.
Okie doke. So, Layla has aged up. Alright, so she is neat. And also, squeamish. Alright, what do we think of that? Do we like it? If we like it, I will go ahead and lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we'll lock it in. Oh, wait, I didn't do this. My bad. One sec. Gonna do this at 13, 13. Ooh, wellness. We haven't had a wellness one in a while. Three. Ooh, all right, Zen Guru. We get a ton of squeamish kids, yeah. All right. Close all that out. Oh, wait, no, oh, no, 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 no. Add birthday candles. You are not allowed to take a piece. All right, I was gonna say, if you take a piece, I swear... All right, now blow your candles out. All right. All righty, so he is a green fiend. What do we think of that? If we like that, I will lock it in in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we like Green Fiend. And this one's gonna be out of 13 as well. This one's gonna be 12. Our first popularity in a while. All right. This is gonna be out of seven, four. One, two, three, four. Party animal. All right, all right. That works. Add birthday candles before she tries to eat anything else. Um, oh. I don't know. I don't think we... Oh, I can't tell yet. We won't, we won't be able to tell until the baby ages up, I think. Um, so yeah. I didn't pay attention at the hospital. I am sorry. Thank you, Sam. All right. Uh, wasn't sure. So you can. There is a way to tell. Um, but unfortunately, right now, no, we can't. So, but yeah. Uh, oh yeah, no, there is no food. I just, wait, there was food. Did... Mom took the last of the food. Oh no, she took the last of the food. One of them did. All right, well, she does need to go get pregnant. So we aged them up. Let's go get pregnant. Let's just save and go get pregnant. Um, would just be cool if we had a spellcaster baby. Oh, that would be, that would be. That would be. All right, hey, uh, guys, give me just a second. I think that.
Alright, sorry about that guys. He was throwing a fit and then I heard a um, crash. So I had to go check it out. So, turns out he knocked over my book. Thankfully, he did not knock the bookmark out of it. But, yes. So, alright, let's go get pregnant. Let's go get pregnant. All right. Oh, wait. Wrong thing. This one. No, okay. Who who was the one I... It was you. Okay, it's you. All right. It's a fun one. Oh, wait. What fun one? Oh, you're talking about the emotes. Okay. 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 
Uh, did I give him a treat? No, I did not give him a treat. No, he's not protecting the house. He was um, being a borker and uh, just borking. All right, move in. All right. Yes, move in. Oh, wait. I got excited for a second. I forgot to move the other one out because 007 saved her. Do you know what he's protecting the house from? Like, y'all give him so much credit. No, he's not protecting the house from anything. He's protecting the house from some unknown thing. Yes, one of his friends walked by, but that was about it. So, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get pregnant. What do we guys, what do we think? There it is. I never remember that. Okay, this thumbnail is weird. This thumbnail is so weird. So weird. A ghost, maybe? I would hope not, Margaret. I would hope not. Um, Because, yeah, the... the go yeah, if it was a ghost, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I would be kind of, I don't know. I would be very apprehensive on, like, what their intentions were. Yeah, I would be very apprehensive on what their intentions were. Uh, Sir Borkaloth has, re has requested Chimkin. N no, 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 no Chimkin. For the Borker. No. No. No Chimkin for the Borker. Nope. Nope. If Ghost is friendly. Yes. I don't mind a friendly Ghost. I mean, we all know Casper. But still, at the same time. I have to question their motives. I really do. Chimkin for the Borker. No. There, there shall be no Chimkin for the Borker. Nope. Nope. You'll send me chicken. No. 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 And definitely no KFC for him. Definitely no KFC for him. That will make him so sick. So, no. Wyatt, I only just finished the food you gave me last night. It took me that long to, to finish that food. All right, so let's get Chucky out of here. Let's get a Chucky out of here. Um, and um, anyone that has followed in the past... How long do you want to say mods? If anyone has followed in the past, like, I'd say probably 10 minutes, um, please send a whisper to the mods. Um, so that way we can mark your name down. Um, cause I, I did have to turn my alerts off. So I uh, need to ask a question about the elemental legacy. Shoot. Uh, if the air is finished everything, can you move the next air out as a teen? No, that's, uh, it, that's goes with base, uh, legacy challenge rules. You typically cannot. Um, you can get a jump start on the next one, but yeah. Typically, no, you don't move them out. Where is Cheats? I scrolled and I lost it. Go away. Okay, where's Chucky? Chucky, get out of the bed. I, that, this is, no, out of the bed. I need that bed. Thank you. A Sam! Thank you for that. I do have the alerts off, so I can't... I, we won't hear it, but thank you for that. I had a sleepover at a place where ghosts weren't happy about guests. Woke up from the mirror smashing nearby in the middle of the night. Safe to say you, you never went to a sleepover at that place again. 
That's fair. All right. Uh, no, you are not allowed to talk to Chucky. I'm trying to get pregnant. I'm reading chat and I'm not listening. I'm not paying attention to the game. Get out. No, not Cass. Get out. I know this is your house, but leave. Leave. Thank you. Matthew, why are you making why are you making a cake? Please stop doing that. Baby first, then cake. You're trying to be sneaky. I see it. I see how it is. All right. Come on. Come on. Three click? Is this going to be a three click? It's not a three click. That's just rude. That is just rude. Hi, Steven. How are you? How's your day going? <laughs> this is awkward. I'm trying to get my sim pregnant. Uh, but yeah, how's your day going? Oh, hey, this was a five click. It's been one of those days today. It has been one of those days. All right. Come on, gi give me, give me, give me baby option. Baby option. Maybe this next one will do it. Just good hanging out. Fun, fun. All right, there we go. Baby time. Okay, guys. All right. Um, Margaret, we're having a couple of technical difficulties right now, so that might be why. Um, don't worry though, this will go up on my VODs channel. So if you are not subscribed to the VODs channel, if we could get the, I think it's just VODs. Yeah, if you're not subscribed to the VODs channel, um, there is the link to it. I do try to get um my stuff up within like. A day like a week so um if you miss any of the hundred baby a mental legacy not so berry any of those it goes on the vods channel so yeah uh, especially because we've had so much technical difficulties the past week and a half just is what it is i, I get, he's wanting me to get off the computer that's what it is That's what it is. All right. Chimkin time. He doesn't need chicken. I promise. He don't need chicken. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it's... I've just had a lot of technical... It, it's technical difficulties the past week and a half. So, yeah. All right. Oh, wait. Yes! We are pregnant! Alright. Bougie Borker Lamb then. He has food, guys. He has food. I promise. I promise. I promise he has food. Alright. All right. Oh, wait. We didn't see his reaction. I'm sad now. All right. Okay. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. It's that time. Is he going to live or... Is he going to Vlad? I gotta pull it up. There we go. 
Is he going to live or is he going to Vlad? He's just attention seeking for mom. He is. He really is. He really just wants attention. All right. Make sure you gamble your points. Do you think he is going to live or do you think he is going to Vlad? Battle of the Vamps. Ooh, Kenzie, I like that. I like that. I do. That is good. Hoping for him to live, but he'll probably go to Vlad. Yeah, so... We'll see. We will see. What is this Twilight? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I kind of gave up on that a while ago, but I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. All right. And he goes to Vlad. Uh, you mean the vamps kind of fight in All Souls? Wait, they do really? I know nothing about this series, so I'm, I'm just going with it. Okay, cool. All right, all right. So, he goes to Vlad. This means, guys, it is time to determine the method of his doom. All right, so he dies by piranha. I'm a piranha. They're in the Amazon. I it just make me giggle. Uh, but all right, so. Let's see. You know what? We have plenty of time. We have plenty of time. Let's go, let's go, let's go do it. Let's go do it. So, all right. Uh, thank you, Matthew, for contributing to our retirement fund. All right, where is he, though? I gotta, f oh, there's Vlad. Send him to Vlad. All right, so now mom, go home. Yep, go home. You're pregnant. We don't need you anymore. You demand a recount. Why are we doing a recount? No recounts. No recounts. He goes to Vlad. We haven't had a Vlad in a while because the last one was saved. So he goes to Vlad. All right, we're going to send her home and then we're going to go back. No, 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 no. The last one was saved, right? Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So, no, so, um, let's see. Gilbert and Thomas both survived the 50-50. And Lena was saved. So the past three did not go to Vlad. So, yeah, I mean, we haven't seen Vlad in a hot minute, guys. So let me have my Vlad. Let me have my Vlad. All right.
right. Uh, last time we saw Vladis Butler. No, I yeeted the butler. And we got a new one. No, 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 they caught on fire. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. They did catch on fire. So, all right, let us save and go to Manage Worlds. They caught on fire. Yes, that's right, they did. They did. Forgot about that, they did. All right. All right, come on now. You're taking way too long to load. We're going to run out of creepy music. It was right after PETA died, right? Yes, PETA died of hunger, and then the... um. The butler died. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Yes, they're both home. All right, let me give you your point. Oh, I did give you your points back. Okay. I did. I wanted to make sure I gave you your points back. So... All right. And hi, Gothic Game Player. How are you? How's your day going? No points for you. Wait, who got the point? Did you get... Did I give the right points back? Now I'm concerned. Did I give the right points back? I think I did. Oh, and... Uh... All right. Vlad, what are you doing upstairs, Vlad? Get downstairs. Oh, hey, he's already down here. Okay, okay, you're gonna come, Vlad's gonna come sit. We're gonna go murderous him. Sam predicted incorrectly. Ah, all right. Okay. Ooh. They are hungry. Good. Okay, Vlad, get get your creepy butt down here. And then you also have to turn on spooky music. All right, thank you. Lame. He's not going to die in this, I don't think. Nah, he just got the fitness skill. It's okay. All right, so we are going to count, guys. Help me count because... As we know, um, I may or may not forget things. So, two. Your cat is sleeping with their eyes open and it's creepy. That sounds creepy. Not gonna lie, that sounds really creepy. All right, two. Come on, Matthew, come on. Three. Die. You woke her up. Fearsome, you broke the cardinal rule. Of being a cat owner. You never disturb the cat. Alright. That was what? Two? Three maybe? I've already lost count. So I hope someone else is keeping count. Because I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm too busy talking. She wakes you up. It's only fair. But do you wake up to button face? That's the question. Do you wake up to button face? Because if you do. Then you've either one upset the cat. Or two. The cat is trying to show you love. Four? That was a... Okay, so this is the fifth one that I'm on now. Okay. Okay, good to know. Six. Oh, 
Thank you. No, you can't do that. Alright, seven. I know, he's left. I'm bringing him back to dance. Eight. Come on, your stench has to bring them in. Just die already. See, Vlad's even breaking it down. You're not dead yet. And he's already getting his best dance moves out of the way. Come on. Okay, you're not help. No! Jump in. And Gothic, thank you for that. Resubscribing for nine months. What the heck? Thank you for that. Um, and we didn't know we do not kill all of our dads. Uh, they are subjected to a 50-50. So they are given... Okay. Apollo, shut up. I love you, but shut up. All right, had to close that. Sorry about that. Um, but, oh, wait, jump in. I'll pause that. So basically, the coin flip will say lives or Vlad. If it says Vlad, then um, we spin the Wheel of Doom to determine how they're going to die. And then once they, once that happens, then we take them to Vlad's house and Vlad dances over their bodies while they die. It's morbid, yes, but it is so incredibly hilarious and satisfying. So, yeah. It's basically what happens. But, yeah. All right. Jump in. We're queuing up to jump in because he is dying by death by piranha. Um... So, yeah. All right. I, I don't. Well, how long till he dies? That's a good question. I don't know for sure. It can take a singular time, as Simsy has done. Um, or it can take multiple times. Um, yeah, if you read the extreme, uh, then it will. Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, did it not want to post? Uh, it'll tell you all those. It'll tell you all of that. Vlad, get your creepy butt back here and dance. I need you dancing in case he dies. Um, Vlad and Grim have a current dance-off going on right now. So far, Grim has not retaliated, but Vlad has challenged him. So, we're just waiting on that. All right, come on now, come on, die already. You're disappointing me. Die. Well. Uh, excuse me. No, you are not going to react to first snow. <sighs> All right. Uh, get, get your... Get back down here. Get back down here and die. Get back down here and die. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, we have all of the deaths predetermined by uh, each room in uh, Vlad's basement. This one, unfortunately, can take a while. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. All right. Yeah, exactly, Sintwin. Get back down here and die. Like, die already. Yes, Kenzie, you can quote that. 
I'm just gonna queue up a bunch of them because I'm t I don't want him to go out and react to more snow. We might have to turn aging off for this. If he doesn't die within the next 30 minutes, we're gonna have to. Come on now. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You are filthy. Why are you not attracting them yet? Hold on. Can they, can they? Yeah, so vampires can still die from drowning, fires, electrocution, other accidents. Yes, they can. Okay. Okay. It's not that it's not attract. It's supposed to attract the fishies. The stench is supposed to attract the fishies. So they're supposed to, like, want to eat them. And it's not. And I'm like, blah. Okay, yes, please mop so that way in case it breaks, you don't die too. Oh, that was a new dance move, Vlad. Sounds good, Kenzie. All right. Come on. Okay, I'm going to have to turn aging off. All right, we're making the decision. Turn aging off. All right, so this way we don't affect the kids negatively. They're going to get a freebie day. All right, come on. I am going to run out of spooky music at this point. Die already. Die already. He really does not want to. I hope someone's been keeping track because I haven't. I'll go back and watch the VOD. It's fine. Welcome back, Kinsey. Welcome back. He's still not dead. All right, come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You lost count at 22. They are not immune. I just Googled it. Oh, we did have another non-vampire take. I think it took him like six hours to die it's basically it's a roulette this that this one is a true roulette because you can go on the first one you can go on like the millionth one so piranhas don't want that vamp blood apparently not see he, he gained a whole fitness skill doing this you're not supposed to be gaining a fitness skill to your doom. Come on now. Oh, you lost... Uh, yeah, it's... Yeah. All right, come on now. Come on now. C 
Come on. Why are you not dead? Sir, why are you not dead? He's having fun with the fishies. He is. Wait, I did, Munchkin? I hadn't I hadn't been over to the, the, her thing yet. I came in second? Yay! How'd I go out? How'd I go out? T you tell me, how did I go out? Uh, which pack is this pond? This is from Get Famous. Yeah, so this is from Get Famous. All right, come on now. If it takes him an entire day to die, I will be upset. I will be very upset. Come on now. Come on. I only have one other song after this. Come on, you gotta die. You, you need, come on. I did. I froze and drowned with an umbrella in my hand. That's how I'd go out. Yeah, that's how I would go out. By by freezing to death. Yep, 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 yep. That that sounds about right. Are uh, you literally have to cleave for a quick work call? He's still alive. I know he's still here. So many packs, so little money. Facts, facts. Um, that is why I strongly recommend that you um use like CD keys, um, or uh, you buy them on sale. If you use CD keys, there is a um, link in the Discord uh, that is an affiliate link for me. So any of my affiliate links will be in the Bella and Apollo section. Um, everything's all linked there in one category for you. All right, come on now. I'm about to say you're done. No, it's not even been, it's not even, it's been about 12 hours. He went about like, it was like 1.30 in the morning. So he's been almost 12 hours. I don't know how you are still alive. How are you still alive, sir? Yes, just like spooky music. Oh, and his thirst is getting is getting down. All right. Yeah, we're in the category of way too freaking long now. We've passed the counting. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. No, Ariana. You're not supposed to be schmoozing up to him. Jump in. Come on. And hi, Shell Popeye. How are you? How is your day going? I'm glad it's going good. And welcome on back. At this point, I'm like, Vlad, go watch TV. <laughs> go do your thing. I don't think he's going to die, guys. I don't think he's going to die. So then here comes the next question. At what point do we say that they survive how long do we give them to die before we say that they saved themselves that's the question how 
how long do we do we give them? So here, I'm going to do a quick poll and you guys tell me what you think. We're going to pause it really quick so that way he doesn't move. So our options are set a limit on attempts length. So set, so we would set a limit, uh, set a time limit. So this would be maybe X amount of hours or so when vladding fails do we set a time limit and they can win their freedom do we do a respin or do we just continue as is until they pa until the sim passes so there's your three options so go ahead and vote so it's basically when vladding fails do we set a time limit so it means that um after x amount of time they win their freedom do we do a respin or do we continue as is until they pass away because we are at almost exactly 12 hours since we started vladding So if we do a respin, there will be a time limit. So X amount of time before they would have to. Yeah. So, all right, go ahead and vote. I know it kind of seems like this. I know what you guys are going for. So. Um, think he's a vamp just lives in the house now. I mean. Best hope we don't get piranhas. So if we got piranhas again, then we would do another respin. Basically munchkin. All right. Because, yeah, we've run out of music. Basically, the time frame is, I'm have I run out of music? Which we did. Yeah, so we've run out of creepy music. So now we have to make the decision. All right. I don't like the no music. So poll finish, please. All right, respin. So, for a respin, I will add this update to the notes. If the mods could just keep it, take a note of this and put it in the in the mod section, so I remember to update the notes thing. Um, but basically, so respin will only be eligible if it takes more than twelve hours for the sim to pass. So now that we've done that, we are going to do a quick respin to determine what happens to him. So, respin. If he gets piranha again, we'll just continue to respin until we get nothing else. Until we get something new. So. All right. Frickin' of course. All right, so we're gonna go do Murphy bed. However... Huh. Huh. I feel like we may cap the Murphy bed. I think we'll cap the Murphy bed at the current. What is the current record? The current record is 40 attempts. Oh, absolutely not. If he, if it takes 40 attempts, I'll be upset. Wait a minute. Who fixed this? Somebody fixed it. I don't like that. All right. We're going to return the music back on. And we're going to try this again. 
Uh, the most, the quickest it's taken is two times. The longest it's taken is 40 times. Put the bed down. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, put the bed up. Put the bed down. Put the bed up. No, absolutely not. I will replace this. No, you do not fix that. Put the bed down. I'm going to put that over there. All right, put the bed up. We're actually going to put that in Vlad's inventory. No, I can't. All right. Put the bed down. We don't want the butler fixing anything. We can't put that in anyone's inventory. You know what? Fine. We're going to put it up here. All right, bed down. Put the bed up. Put the bed down. Put the bed up. Down. I hope someone's keeping track because I'm not. And he survives this. He just does not want to die. He does not. You're not either. Oh, I'll go back and I'll, I'll watch it back and we'll do that. So. Put the bed up. Put the bed down. Put the bed up. Oh, you're not miserable enough. Hold on. We got to turn spooky music on. Put the bed down. There you go. Now you're miserable. Put the bed up. Oh my gosh. Just die already. I'm, I'm so over this. I am so over this. I am so over this. Put the bed down. See, even Vlad's getting annoyed. Matthew, just die already. Sam, I'm getting ready to. I am getting ready to. I am so over this. I'm getting ready to just do a click, click, click. Oops, sorry. Because I'm hungry. I want to go eat something. And the Sim won't die. The Sim's death is between me and food. Die. Oh, yeah, Sam, that's because we can only use Save the Dad once a, once a, um, once a stream. 
Yeah, you can only use Save a Dad once a stream um, or up to five times per set. Can a vampire die from thirst? I wonder. No, so according to Google, no, according to Google, they can they can still die by everything else. We're going to give him 10 more attempts at this. If he doesn't die in 10 more attempts, we are going to just MC Command Center him. So this is... Eight more. Because we literally have lost an entire day doing this. Seven. Six. dead yeah no no Kinsey 100% uh, put it in in the spreadsheet uh, the most stubborn of all the dads okay Vlad quit crying dance come on Break it down, break it down, Vladdy. Break it down, break it down. Hmm. All right. How many did we get to? Uh, Tabby, I have no idea. No idea. No idea. All right, Vladdy, release the spirit to the netherworld. And then I can... Release the spirit. All right. Yeah, 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 that's great and all, Vladdy, but I'm hungry and you're taking forever. Thank you. All right, so we'll look at this when it's not snowy, but vampires get a different tombstone. So we now have every type of tombstone. So, all right, let us save the game. And let us... Lost count at 15. Oh, yeah, I did too. I did too. So, all right. All right. I am going to wrap it up here. We are not going to be raiding today. We did have an issue with follower, uh, with the follow bot earlier. So, uh, when that happens, we don't raid. Uh, cause I'm not about to put that mess into someone's, uh, hands unexpectedly. So, for everybody that's here that, um, has hung out with us today, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, to, let's see, to anyone that resubbed, cause I'm sorry, I can't see my, uh, activity feed right now but to anybody that uh sub today or gifted subs or bits or anything like that thank you thank you thank you um and some uh oh no we're not, we're not streaming tomorrow tomorrow's saturday uh be back on monday i will be posting the schedule on discord over the weekend so if you're not uh in the discord please whisper a mod and they will get you all of the um information you need to join the discord um, maybe we'll do a BAD stream this weekend. Maybe we will. Um, we'll see how it goes. I do have a couple things I need to get done for us for the stream for everything on the back end as well. So 
Anyway, all right. If you are not following me on any of my socials, there are my socials. But particularly, uh, please go and watch the new TikTok from today. Um, make sure you are subbed to the YouTube channel because I'm going to work on getting all of the um, shell tours up for you. So, um, if you see me downloading stuff from your gallery, that's one of my shells. Or see, if you see downloads on your gallery for shells, it's because I didn't take a screenshot. So, I'm re-downloading it so I can do that. So... Um, but anyway, all right. Well, I will see you guys all later. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I'll see you guys back here on Monday. Okay. Um, if there is, let me, I'll give you a recommendation of where, of places to go that where we would have gone. Um, a good place for, to go would be, uh, Tally XO. If the mods could do shout outs really quick. Um, so, uh, here I'll do, I'll do some really quick. So, uh, shout out to... For people to go and see. So Sarah Kendall is a good person. Um, or you can... Uh, TallyXO is another great person. Of course, Simsy is also someone that we really love to go hang out with and say hello to. Um, let's see, is anyone else? Uh, Kipsy Daisy is a great one. I can't, yeah, I can't, I can't type that. Um... Or um, Play With May is also someone else that's really good. Or Simply Luke. So Simply Luke is also someone that you can go hang out with. Other people to go and see. But thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, we are not going to be raiding today. So I will see you guys all back here on Monday. Okay? Love you guys. I'll see you later. Okay. Goodbye.